Welcome to Fanfiction Audiobook. Great Voyage. Summon Tokusaki Kurumi at the beginning. Chapter 61. Have you given the order to retreat decisively? It's really a smart choice. Hurley Bell said indifferently. Just, can you escape by yourself? Saying that, strong murderous intent appeared in her beautiful eyes, she held the shark queen in her hand, and looked at Kuzan coldly. Marine launched a buster call with the aim of destroying the kingdom of Agar. Hurley Bell was very angry about this. After all, this is her own man's kingdom, anyone who dares to attack this kingdom, she will not let it go. Ah la la la, escape as much as you can. After all, facing you group of monsters, even I don't have much confidence in being able to deal with them. Quote. Kuzan smiled wryly, as if he was about to die. The two have been fighting each other for such a long time, and he can clearly realize the unbelievably beautiful blonde woman in front of him. Her strength is definitely above her own, I'm afraid she is already at the level of the four emperors, and she may even be far beyond it. This made him feel extremely troublesome and afraid, so after he was injured. After considering various situations, he made up his mind and gave the order to retreat. Otherwise, if the fight continues like this, Marine's side may be completely wiped out. Another reason is that in the direction of the island, there are shocking explosions from time to time, and the terrifying explosion mushroom cloud is daunting. And that place is where his fellow Marine Admiral, Kazaru, is. That's the young man who sent Kazaru flying in the first place. The battle on the island over there was extremely fierce, with shocking explosions and repeated explosions visible to the naked eye. It is conceivable how powerful and terrifying the enemy Kazaru is facing now, and the two sides have not defeated it after fighting for so long. Naval headquarters was a big failure this time, a complete misstep. The buster call was launched without even finding out the real strength of the enemy. This is not to destroy the opponent, but they take the initiative to send to the door to die. The Kingdom of Agar is not just two admiral-level forces, but three or even more than four. Especially the woman he is facing now is definitely at the level of four emperors, and only the level of four emperors can suppress him and beat him violently. Both the world government and naval headquarters have underestimated this kingdom, so they will pay a very heavy price. And this price is definitely the kind that will make naval headquarters bleed with heartache. It's useless to talk too much, bet your life and decide the final outcome. Knowing that it would definitely be bad for him to procrastinate, Kuzan stopped talking nonsense. An extremely cold air came out of his body, and a large amount of cold air gushed out like steam, spreading into the void. Ka ka ka. Soon the cold air filled the entire sky, forming patches of snowflakes and ice crystals. Ice world. End. The next moment, Kuzan raised his hand, and all the air conditioning instantly froze into ice, and an ice and snow world several kilometers long was formed. Then under the control of Kuzan, the huge ice and snow world slammed into Hurley Bell. It's beautiful, but it doesn't do much. Seeing the magnificent buildings in this ice and snow world, even Hurley Bell couldn't help but praise it at the moment. Then, his face turned cold, and the currents around him flowed, forming water dragons that seemed to be sweeping towards her. Both Hurley Bell and the Queen Shark in their hands were glowing with golden light. Coupled with the beauty of the surrounding water flow, Hurley Bell is like a beautiful saint in the painting. Then, she raised the Shark Queen in her hand, and the golden Rayatsu emerged, slowly blending into the Shark Queen. Since you've exhausted all your skills, it's my turn. Hurley Bell's expression remained unchanged as he watched the world of ice and snow constantly approaching and oppressing him. Sister Yu's voice was calm and indifferent, and her eyes were fixed on the front. Soon, all the sea currents were gathered and merged into a sea pillar tornado like a swimming dragon. Broken waterfall. In the next second, a cold voice came out. The seawater tornado roared out suddenly, and it expanded dozens of times in seconds. It turned into a world-destroying tsunami roaring and smashed out, colliding with Kuzan's ice and snow world. Boom 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 boom. In just one face-to-face -face time, the huge ice and snow world was engulfed and shattered. What kind of ice and snow world? The bells and whistles are useless, and it was completely annihilated by the terrifying tsunami of destroying the world. When the terrifying tsunami fell, the entire sky let out a trembling and mournful sound, and the turbulent waves of the tsunami shook the void. 
It smashed hard at Kuzan's tiny body, without any emotion, as if its appearance was only for the purpose of destroying the world. Ice Age. At this moment, Kuzan went all out. In the face of this huge and terrifying tsunami that fell like an ocean, he couldn't dodge effectively at all. I can only go all out and choose to resist head on. With his hands crossed in front of his body, a steady stream of freezing rays erupted, gradually freezing the front of the crashing tsunami. Physical strength is squandered like money, a lot of physical strength is consumed rapidly, and more freezing power is released. It was supposed to be a tsunami of spiritual power that could not be frozen, but it was successfully frozen by Kuzan at this time. But as the tsunami broken waterfall continued to be frozen into ice, the speed of the tsunami falling became faster. Oops. Soon, Kuzan's heart pounding, he realized his mistake. He shouldn't have chosen to freeze the tsunami gradually from the very beginning, but should have chosen to split it up. Even if it is all frozen into ice cubes, once a huge tsunami ice cube falls and falls to the sea, what kind of terrible disaster will it cause? Don't forget, there are still tens of thousands of marine elites fighting on the ice below. Thinking of the horrible consequences, even Kuzan's face turned pale at this time. As if to verify his idea, most of the huge tsunami was frozen, and its weight increased sharply, and there was still a tsunami behind it to boost it. The front end of the tsunami ice block, which was more than half frozen, is like a huge mountain. Slammed down at a faster speed. Boom. Just when the huge tsunami ice is about to fall. Kuzan shot again, the freezing ray resisted the tsunami ice, continuously creating solid ice created an oblique arc of wide and thick ice, and wanted to transfer it away to the distance. However, all this is just in vain, a waste of effort. Because, Hurley Bell's real method is not to rely on one move to crush Kuzan to death. Emperor Saro. In the sky, Hurley Bell's beautiful eyes narrowed slightly, and the golden Reiatsu rays of light converged. After accumulating the blade, he swung his sword suddenly and slashed out a huge fan-shaped Saro. Boom. The horrific Golden Emperor Saro blasted, sweeping across the entire sky, rendering the void into gold, sweeping towards Kuzan with terrifying oppressive force. Rumble. The tsunami blocking the front evaporated and dissipated, and the huge tsunami ice was shattered. Everything that stands in the way of Emperor Saro will be swallowed up and annihilated by him. Finally, under Kuzan's horrified gaze, it was engulfed in it, and a shocking roaring explosion occurred. This is, ah uh, ah. Uh. Boom, boom. Accompanied by Kuzan's screams, the Golden Emperor Saro pierced through the ice layer and hit the bottom of the sea, bursting out a golden wave of terrifying and destructive light. The aftermath of the terrifying explosion rippling, sweeping in all directions, violent strong wind and air waves surged out, everyone was affected by this terrifying force. What's happening here? Aokiji Admiral, defeated by that woman. Run away, you will be swept in and you will die. The terrifying Saro explosion shook the sky, and the powerful aftermath raged in all directions, whether it was the Marine or the Mano's Grande legions within a thousand meters. All were affected. This wave of Hurley Bell's attack completely ignored the all-round destruction of both camps. A group of low-level cannon fodder is nothing more than death. Luther was not at the center of the explosion, so he couldn't die at all. The same is true for Urza. Hurley Bell has already fought against Urza several times, and he knows Urza's strength very well. She has a very powerful armor, and there is no problem in resisting it. Not to mention the rest of Ulkiora. That being the case, why should she hold back? And this is also the reason why there were no ordinary soldiers from the Kingdom of Agar participating in this war. It's too weak, basically it's impossible to hit a marine elite, and it will die for nothing. Hurley Bell's Emperor Saro directly destroyed half of the entire ice battlefield, and thousands of marine elites all perished here. Thousands of marine elites were swallowed up by Saro amid desperate screams, and their figures disappeared into the explosion light waves. Buried under the sea along with the cracked and melted ice, he lost his life forever. Everyone, all board the warship and retreat. Also benefited from Hurley Bell's devastating blow, the surviving marine elites, in the escape time created by Vice Admiral and Rear Admiral. He frantically fled back to the warship. At this moment, the ice layer had begun to melt and shatter, and the warship could sail again. The seven marine warships started slowly and began to turn around and return. 
After the dragon whale Ajukas killed Huo Shaoshan Vice Admiral, he was seized by the flying squirrel and the ghost spider, severely wounding and repelling him. Afterwards, the two began to retreat. If they did not cover the retreat of other marine elites, they would all die here. As for the safety of the admirals, they are not at their level at all, and they need to be worried and considered. Don't try to escape. The dragon whale Ajukas, who had a cross wound on his back, roared, and wanted to catch up and kill the two marines. But at this moment, a white figure appeared in front of her. Don't go chasing after it, poor people don't chase after it. HMPH. Don't think I'm afraid of you, Ludben, get out of the way. I'm going to kill those two dead old men. Facing Ludben's obstruction, Dragon Whale Ajukas did not take him in the slightest. You dare to stop me, I will kill you first, and then kill those two. This is an order from His Majesty the King. Ludben said in a low and cold voice. Whispering sound. Hearing this, Dragon Whale Ajukas immediately calmed down. Roar. However, she finally opened her mouth angrily, and the Scarlet Saro burst into fire, catching up with the marine battleship that was gradually moving away. Boom. The Scarlet Beam penetrated a battleship, destroying most of the hull, but the battleship was finally saved temporarily under the rescue of the marines. Even so, under the bombardment of the Saro launched suddenly by the Dragon Whale Ajukas, hundreds of people were still killed or injured. Humph. After a little venting the anger in her heart, she left straight away and flew in one direction. What a headstrong Ajukas. Looking at the Dragon Whale Ajukas going away, Ludben shook his head and murmured helplessly. Dot dot dot. Do you died? No, I have escaped. Looking at the rough sea below, Hurley Bell's beautiful eyes flashed with displeasure. But when someone's order came to her mind, she stopped pursuing it. If you meet again next time, kill the opponent again. Another location, on the last battlefield. Huchihuchi, really, so strong that he is a monster at all. The old man is also getting old, and he can't stand the long battle. Quote. At this time, Pelusolino didn't have that leisurely and relaxed wretched face with a bruised nose and swollen face. The glasses were all shattered, and a deep wound was torn on the chest, and blood was flowing slowly. The breath all over his body was also chaotic and uncontrollable, and his face showed a tired look. Obviously, in the battle with Ulkiora, Pelusolino was completely at a disadvantage and was hanged. It seems that your group of subordinates have already fled the battlefield. Ulkiora, holding the moonlight sword, said grimly. With Ulkiora's soul perception and the ability to detect nerves, he can clearly perceive that there are thousands of souls, and they began to gather in large numbers away from the battlefield. Yeah, it looks like Ulkiora-san's perception is scary too. Then, it's time for the old man to leave. Quote. Pelusolino made an ugly smile. As soon as the voice fell, Pelusolino's entire body shone brightly. Ulkiora frowned and tried to stop, but stopped suddenly. In the next instant, Pelusolino's figure instantly turned into countless light particles, and disappeared completely. Have you teleported away? No, this is following the direction of the sun's rays and escaping. Seeing through Pelusolino's move at a glance, Ulkiora shook his head. Since the enemy has already left the island in an instant, fleeing dozens of miles away, there is really no point in chasing them by themselves. If you can't catch up, you will look a little embarrassed instead. Coupled with the order from Luke, Ulkiora immediately gave up the idea of pursuing. Returning Blade's release state was lifted, and he returned to his indifferent appearance. There was no injury on his whole body, but the white uniform of Xi Palace on his body was scratched a few times. Forget it, go back and return to your life. Ulkiora glanced down at the city of Sergisk. At this time, the city of Sergisk Island no longer looks like a kingdom town at all. All the towns and buildings on the island were turned into a disaster zone of burning flames. The entire island has been plowed by countless lasers and sero. There are huge scorched ravines all over, and there are huge pits one by one. These are all the results of the confrontation between Ulkiora and Pelusolino, and the bombardment of laser and sero. The island city of Sejisk is basically a waste. As for the tens of thousands of foolish people who stubbornly supported the Sergisk royal family, in this devastating battle. They have all died out in despair. None of that has anything to do with Ulkiora, though. But the tragic situation here will soon be used to give the world government and naval headquarters a big surprise. 
a small island tens of nautical miles away. A golden light flashed from the rays of the sun. The figure of Pelusolino fell down in embarrassment, standing on the branch of a towering tree, supporting the trunk of the tree. Wiping the blood on his forehead, Mr. Zephyr, Mr. Zephyr, who said that it is not advisable to indulge in the improvement of devil fruit's power. If the old man hadn't awakened the fruit ability, he wouldn't be able to escape this time. Pelusolino sighed faintly, muttering to himself. Agar Kingdom, inside the king's hall. Luke held Kwongson in his arms, and knew the marines' defeat immediately. When the marines fled and evacuated, he also gave the order not to hunt them down. Although naval headquarters is said to be an institution attached to the world government, it is called by most outsiders as a dog raised by the world government. But it is undeniable that if there is no naval headquarters is committed to maintaining world peace. The world is already in chaos. Various major evil forces, large and small pirate groups, and four emperors pirate groups exist. Under the rule of the world government if there is no naval headquarters to suppress. The civilians in this world will live a dark life that is dozens of times more miserable than it is today. In this world, civilians are the worst people. The fate of some island towns targeted by pirates can be imagined. And the marines who are the marine branch also exist in collusion with it. The dragon and colonel mouse in Kokoyasi village are the best examples. There is also branch 153, Colonel Monka, the ruler of Shields Township. These are miniatures of some of Marine's dark maggots. But aside from these maggots born under a huge system, naval headquarters actually deserves more credit than blame. Therefore, the world still needs naval headquarters to maintain stability for the time being. Luke didn't even think about killing them all in one fell swoop. Let naval headquarters do this kind of hard work, and leave some high-end combat power for naval headquarters, otherwise there will be no such mainstay marine. Naval headquarters may be in for a short-term deterrence deficit. Another point is that I will give world government and naval headquarters a super gift next time. If naval headquarters loses too much high-end combat power by then, Luke is really worried that naval headquarters will be washed away by those super big pirates. No, naval headquarters is probably fine. But other marine divisions and branch bases are definitely going to be killed. I'd better be merciful, and save some combat power for the marines. Ding. Congratulations on completing the hidden mission, National Destroyer Crisis. You have successfully completed the hidden mission, National Destruction Crisis, you have obtained 4,000 origin points, low-level cannon fodder asterisk 2,000, and strengthened a soldier barracks. Suddenly, a system prompt sounded in Luke's mind. Okay. Hearing the sudden prompt from the system, Luke shivered. If it wasn't for this sudden prompt, he would have been a little confused about why he faced Buster Call's conquest this time. Why didn't the system release the task? It turned out to be a hidden task. Zero. This time defeated Buster Call's conquest, did they actually have 4,000 origin points? This surprised Luke a bit. 2,000 more low-level ghosts were also given, and there was also a reinforced soldier barracks. Luke couldn't help but click on the, strengthened soldiers barracks message directly. Strengthened soldiers barracks. Quality. Bronze. Effect. Consume 10,000 baileys, recruit soldiers every day, the upper limit is 50-50. Evaluation. As long as you have money, you can continuously recruit enhanced soldiers with a minimum of bronze. Interesting. After watching the function of the barracks, Luke showed an interesting smile. From the looks of it, he seems to be able to go into explosive mode. It can already explode soldiers, but not very explosive. It's quite painful, and you can only spend 500,000 berries a day to recruit five enhanced field soldiers. Shaking his head, he temporarily forgot about the barracks. With some anticipation, Luke opened the system prompt bar that had already been maxed out. Ding, congratulations to your subordinates, Dragon Whale Ajukas killed Marine Vice Admiral Stalo Berry and got 351 origin points. Ding, congratulations to your subordinates, Dragon Whale Ajukas killed Marine Vice Admiral Doberman and gained 377 origin points. Ranked at the top is the impressive record of Dragon Whale Ajukas. As a guy who suddenly evolved from Jillian to mid-level Manos Grande Ajukas on the battlefield. Luke undoubtedly paid attention to it for a long time, and witnessed the whole process of her killing three vice admirals through monitoring. 
its performance can be said to be very impressive. As soon as it evolves, it has the strength to kill two vice admirals in seconds. Even under the siege of three veteran vice admirals, he was suppressed and beaten at the beginning, and became more and more courageous as he fought, becoming stronger and stronger. Instead, they suppressed the onslaught of the three, and finally beheaded Huo Shaoshan vice admiral. As an existence of the same level, she fully embodies the powerful talent of the race. For this dragon whale form at Jukas, Luke showed a curious look, and clicked on her attribute panel. She was also summoned by him, so she can naturally check the panel attributes at any time, but she has evolved from the most common lower level Jillian Manos Grande to the middle level Manos Grande at Jukas. 437. Tia Gassina. Level. Tier 3, Silver Advanced. Race. Daxu. Talent. Co-evolution, water control, freezing. Abilities. Sero, spinner, black voice. Equipment. None. Comprehensive evaluation. A dragon whale adjukas with good potential. After evolving Arankar, it will have the history of water and ice. Is the strength of the silver superior? Luke is silent. It is a small class higher than Jillian Mano's Grande, but its strength is dozens of times higher than that of Jillian Mano's Grande. Killing dozens of Jillians in an instant is a breeze. What's more, Ijukas has the special ability to control Jillian Mano's Grande. What surprised Luke even more was that she actually saw the talent after Arankar from her talent column. Possesses the natural ability to control water and freeze. Isn't this an enhanced version of Hurley Bell? Luke was dumbfounded. And this female dragon whale Ajukas, why is the surname Tia? Could it be Hurley Bell's sister? This is simply nonsense, okay. Every Manos Grande came from devouring each other, and finally had an independent individual consciousness. After devouring hundreds of Manos Grande, Jillian evolved into Ajukas. Why did the sisters say that? Never mind. Luke shook his head, and when Hurley Bell and the others came back, they would know the truth after a little questioning. Luke doesn't think about such troublesome things, and it will be clear when he directly asks the person concerned. Finally, a summary prompt message was viewed. Ding, your subordinates have wiped out a total of four Marine Vice Admirals, seven Marine Rear Admirals, 12 Marine Commodores, 58 Marine Colonels, 92 Marine Lieutenant Colonels. 1B744 Marine Elites. You have obtained a total of 8,275 origin points. Ding, since your level has reached the intermediate gold level, the life forms below the upper bronze level that you kill later will no longer have the source points to ingest rewards. After reviewing all the gains from this battle, Luke's originally excited and happy mood suddenly disappeared, and he slowly put out a big question mark. What's the situation? He was targeted and restricted by the system. According to his estimation, he could get at least more than 20,000 origin points in this wave. As a result, after such a targeted restriction by the system, more than half of them were directly cut off. Ding, according to the restrictions of the supreme law of the multiverse, the strong are not allowed to massacre lower life forms and plunder the origin. Therefore, for life forms that are about two levels lower than yours, the original point will be absorbed by the local world after death and turned into planetary nourishment. Seeing the doubts in Luke's head, the system took the initiative to prompt and said. Quote dot dot dot. I give full marks to this explanation. Come on, it's just that his subordinates have killed too much, and the original point is overwhelmed, and he is restricted. This point, Luke can also understand. This is almost like the world of cultivating immortals, practitioners compete with heaven and earth for good fortune, and squeeze the world crazily. Therefore, the way of heaven will send disasters and thunder disasters, and if those practitioners are killed, they must recover some of their origin, so as to stabilize and maintain the life of the world. To a certain extent, this also eliminates the bug that if Luke launches a world war in the future, he will gain infinite origin points. But Luke didn't care about that either. Limit it, limit it. If you really want to say it, there are not a few strong people in this world. Luke didn't care about this either, he held onto it zero. Isn't that pure idiot behavior? However, the system did not remind one thing, that is, Luke did not obtain the source point and life soul energy. But it was devoured by those ghosts. All turned into the evolutionary nourishment for those low-level ghosts. Otherwise, how did the dragon whale Ajukas evolve? What's the matter, Mr. Luke? 
Seeing that Luke was silent for a long time, Kuang Sanmei's eyes showed a hint of bewilderment. It's okay. The corners of Luke's mouth rose slightly, smiling and stroking Kuang San's little head. The latter immediately made a happy sound like a kitten, actively arched his head, and rubbed against Luke's palm. Seeing this, Luke's mood changed for the better. With such a cute Kuangsan accompanying him, anyone would be grinning from ear to ear. That is to say, he gradually got used to having many sisters around him, but he still cherishes this, the second dimensional wife who was summoned by him first. Ten minutes later, Hurley Bell and others returned from the waters off Hangisk Island City. Tear open the void, walk out from the crack in the black cavity, and enter on foot from the gate of the palace. Soon, they came to the king's hall. Your Majesty, luckily, all the Buster Call Marines have been defeated by us and fled in all directions. Several people stepped into the king's hall, except for the two sisters, Luther Ben and Ulkio reported. The two women, Urza and Hurley Bell, are only 3.3 with a slight bow. As a princess, she still has this special right. Your Majesty, what to do with this woman? After Ulkiora reported the situation, Urza immediately raised the mamasagi she was holding and asked. Although Luke and Luke have had a lot of experience of climbing and traveling in mountains and rivers. But because she hasn't had an actual relationship with Luke yet, Urza still insists on calling him His Majesty the King for the time being. This, Luke has corrected several times. But Urza still insisted on her own ideas, Luke was a little helpless, and decided to teach her a good lesson in the future. However, now is not the time. On the throne, from Luke's perspective, Luke immediately saw the proud figure of Mamasagi being carried away. Due to fainting and improper posture, Luke accidentally saw a more magnificent snow scene. For a moment, the corners of Luke's mouth slightly raised, looking at Mamasagi with a round face, showing a funny smile. There were other thoughts in my mind. Naval Headquarters Vice Admiral, Reserve Admiral Mamasagi only rounded. For such a strong woman, if I don't know how to practice and fight with her, what kind of pleasant experience of guiding and practicing will I have? Mamasagi has multiple buff superpositions. Luke said he could try it. As the lord of a country, he won't be cowering like an otaku. He is the king, of course he has the right and strength to do whatever he wants. This is our distinguished guest, treat him well. Luke said with a chuckle. There was a cunning look in his eyes. At the beginning, he gave Urza the order to capture the captives alive and bring them back to the kingdom. But it's an important part of the next plan. It is good. Urza nodded. Okay. At this time, Luo 2K showed a puzzled look, and then looked outside the main hall, and saw a tall blue and white figure hiding behind the door, showing a simple and honest appearance with half of his head. What are you doing hiding outside, come in. He was a little confused just now, why the dragon whale Ajukas didn't return to the hall to report with Hurley Bell and the others. It turned out that this guy hid secretly, not daring to step into the hall. Not to mention, seeing this guy for the first time now, Luke felt that compared with the fierce and terrifying posture on the battlefield, she had a somewhat different and naive appearance. It is quite cute, and there is always a sense of sight that is silly and cute. But if someone dared to provoke her, she would definitely turn into the most brutal posture and hammer that person's head to pieces. Regarding this point, the two Marines, Vice Admiral, Stalo Berry, Doberman, and Huo Shaoshan who were instantly killed by him have the most say. Ah, yes, it is His Majesty the King. Seeing that the King, who admired Chongqing, found him, Ijukas, the Dragon Whale, screamed and hid behind the door, but soon appeared again. Because she didn't dare to disobey Luke's order, and she didn't want Luke to hate her, so she obediently walked out and walked into the hall. Following the appearance of Ulkiora and others just now, he knelt on one knee and saluted in a naive manner. I have met His Majesty the King, I, my name is Tia Gassina. After speaking, he raised his head quietly, peeking at Luke's reaction. It's just that Hurley Bell frowned when he heard the name she said, and looked at her with some doubts. What is going on with this Ijukas in front of me, who actually has the same surname as hers? Hee hee, what's the relationship between you and Hurley Bell? Immediately, Luke asked the question he was just confused about, and asked directly. That, that, because I met Lord Tia in the forest of Manos Grande, I respect and admire her very much. But my consciousness has just awakened, and my strength is very low, so I dare not approach Lord Tia. 
So, that's why I imitated Master Tia and took a name similar to her. I really like Master Tia very much. Dragon Whale Ajukas, stammering out her thoughts, opened Shikai to explain. Immediately, the group of people suddenly realized the reason. Seeing that everyone was looking at her, she lowered her head nervously, completely opposite to her arrogant and boundless personality on the battlefield. One can't help but wonder whether this guy has two conscious personalities. Otherwise, how could the character gap before and after be so large, it is unbelievable. I see. Hearing this, Luke immediately understood. Isn't this the Hueco Mundo version of the star chasing scene of the brainless fans? It's just off the charts. Luke showed a somewhat dumbfounding smile. It feels like this stupid cute dragon whale Ajuka's in front of me, no, it's Jasna. It's a bit too, cute. And what's even more outrageous, is that this guy has such a predestined relationship with Heli Bell, that he was summoned into this world by him. I have to say that they are indeed two, persons, who are very destined. Okay, since that's the case, you can follow Hurley Bell from now on. In this regard, Luke finds it quite interesting, so let's satisfy the wish of this cross-border star-chasing fan. Immediately, Luke looked at Hurley Bell and asked, Hurley Bell, what do you think? However, Luke still respected Hurley Bell quite a bit, and finally asked, if Hurley Bell disagreed, then there was nothing he could do. After all, he couldn't forcefully force Gassina to Holly Bell. Well, yes. Facing Luke's inquiry and the expectant look in Jocina's eyes, Hurley Bell secretly sighed in his heart, and chose to agree. Her three subordinates and sisters are not in this world, so just accept this fangirl temporarily. Really, that's great. After getting the expected answer, Jocina was about to jump up, but she finally suppressed her incomparably excited mood. She doesn't want to lose her composure in front of His Majesty the King and be considered a brainless idiot. She obediently stood behind Hurley Bell, like a bodyguard. Next, Luke praised Hurley Bell at all. Wilkiora thanked him respectfully and modestly, while Luther Ben almost knelt down. As for Urza and Hurley Bell, they will get practical rewards later. Afterwards, several ministers who had already been notified came to the King's Hall. After saluting first, Yas took out a phone bug and said respectfully, Your Majesty, Morgans, the owner of Shijingbao, is calling. He said he has something important to ask you. Okay. The owner of the world's largest news newspaper actually took the initiative to find him. It just so happens that we can cooperate with this guy to make a big deal. Yas and other ministers have been paying attention to the victory of this battle. When they received His Majesty's edict, they rushed to the King's Hall immediately. At the same time, Yas also received a phone bug that surprised him. No, it wasn't from him, but from the diplomatic service, and finally transferred to Yas. After learning of the request of this world-famous and world-renowned news tycoon, Yas immediately beamed. Before, His Majesty the King held a meeting with their ministers and planned the follow-up strategy against the world government and naval headquarters in advance. Unexpectedly, this guy Morgans would take the initiative to come to the door, which really made Yasi very happy. Saved him a lot of time. Find other newspapers, and self-publish news. How can it be more shocking to cooperate with Morgans, the president of the World Economic News Agency and one of the six Uranus in the Dark World? With the strength of Shijingbao, in less than an hour, the whole world will see the news of Marine Buster Call's embarrassing escape. Moses Moses. Is that His Royal Highness King Luke? Soon, the phone bug connected, and Morgan's voice came from over there. It's my lord, you're the big newsman Morgan's. Although I know that the person contacting me is Morgan's, a great journalist, Morgan's, one of the six Uranus in the underground dark world in the original Book of Pirates. But Luke still asked, which was a polite way to confirm each other's identities. Ha 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 ha, I met His Highness King Luke, big news, this is big news, your highness Luke. I didn't expect his royal highness Luke's subordinates to be so powerful, even the highest level buster call launched by naval headquarters can be defeated. This really surprised and shocked me. Your highness Luke, your kingdom is definitely the most powerful among all the kingdoms. And you will also be the greatest king in this world. Morgan seemed to have countless things to say, and he praised Luke vigorously. There is no doubt that Uranus in this dark world seems to have become Luke's brainless fan. 
As a big newsman, Morgans has been paying attention to this matter for many days, and has been paying close attention to the trend of Buster Call all the time. Therefore, Morgans was also the first to discover the news that the Buster Call fleet led by Marine Admiral failed and fled. How could Morgans, who was looking for big news all over the world, miss such a super big news that shocked the world? They have already sent someone to investigate the contact information of the Ager Kingdom, so they can contact Luke so quickly. Besides him, there are many big forces paying attention to this matter. It's just that Tongtian doesn't have his hands and eyes. No, there is indeed a pirate force, and that is the big mom pirate group known as the number one in the intelligence network industry. However, the big mom pirates didn't take this matter to heart. In their eyes, the kingdom of Agar must be destroyed. If so, why waste resources on it? However, the fact is that they slapped the big mom pirates hard. Hee hee, you don't need to say any more compliments, Morgans tell me why you contacted me. However, in the face of Morgans endless praise, although Luke didn't have any joyful expression on the surface, he was also happy in his heart. After all, there is an old saying that is good, if you wear it thousands of times and flatter you, whoever puts it on will have to show a little smile. If it were someone else, he would have been so proud of himself. Ha 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 ha. His Royal Highness Luke is really a cheerful person, then I, Morgans, will not talk nonsense. Morgans laughed a few times, liking Luke's straightforward character very much, and then said, I hope to get first-hand detailed information about the defeat of the Marine Buster Call in the Kingdom of Agar. His Royal Highness, please allow me to publish this super big news, so that people all over the world will know about it. This is super big news, definitely more shocking to the world than the big event that Shanks became the fourth emperor a few years ago. The three top-level admirals dispatched by Marine failed to take down the kingdom of Agar, but were defeated by the opponent and fled. More importantly, Marine's buster call fleet, but the sea area of the Agar kingdom did not approach, so it was blocked and repelled. What a shame this is, Marine's face was definitely trampled underfoot this time, and was ravaged by the Agar kingdom. You haven't even reached the door of his house, you were intercepted and killed halfway by him, and finally fled in embarrassment. After this news is published and released to the whole world, how much shock will it cause? Thinking of this, Morgans couldn't help himself, and began to tremble. He was so excited that he couldn't control himself. As for why he was humbled and wanted Luke's approval. That's because Morgans really wants to take this opportunity and make friends with the road. Of course, I will send you two more big news. Luke smiled lightly and said the words that made Morgans jump with excitement. Is this true? From the other end of the phone bug, Morgans screamed wildly with joy. Of course, the two big news are. Next, Luke told Morgans the details of the big news sent to him. Moreover, some news methods from the previous life were used, which made Morgans so addicted that he almost regarded Luke as his master. Even more bluntly, I hope that Luke can take up the position of editor-in-chief in Shijing Daily. You just need to point him out occasionally, and he is willing to give him 5% of Shijingbao's dividends every year. Luke refused directly and speechlessly, he would not do such a cheap thing. In short, this matter is left to you. If this cooperation is happy, there will be opportunities for cooperation in the future. In the end, Lu was a little thirsty. Looking at Kwangsun by Zhao Qian, in his arms, he wanted to taste the sweet and greasy nectar. In the future, let Yas do this kind of thing. Luke secretly decided in his heart. Of course, I will never let you down, your highness Luke. Morgan's excited voice came, but Luke has already explained everything that needs to be explained. The rest was left to Morgan's to arrange, and he didn't bother to respond, so he hung up the phone directly. Somewhere in the new world, an albatross fat birdman stood in place and jumped excitedly for more than 10 seconds. Immediately after that, the order was issued. Naval headquarters on the other side. When Sengoku received the news that the Buster Call fleet was defeated and evacuated. In the entire marshal's office, all the high-level marines are all blown up. The news of Buster Call's defeat and evacuation was like a heavy hammer, and it fell heavily on everyone's celestial cap. They smashed the heads of all the marine executives to buzz. Three admirals, ten marine vice-admirals, twenty marine rear-admirals, and twenty thousand marine elites. 
With such a terrifying top-level configuration, it was intercepted by the other party in the sea area of other kingdoms before even reaching the sea area of the Agar Kingdom. Was launched a surprise attack by the enemy, and in less than two hours, the Buster Call fleet was destroyed by the opponent. When Sengoku heard the news reported by the Ghost Spider, he was dumbfounded and stood there blankly. He didn't come back to his senses for a long time, and stared blankly at the gate of the office. Although it was reported by Kazaru long ago, the Kingdom of Agar has information about two Admiral-level powerhouses. But at this time, after hearing the new information reported by the Ghost Spider, even Sengoku's calm state of mind couldn't help cursing his mother. The Kingdom of Agar has four top-level combat forces, what the hell is this TMD? Why does a mere medium-sized kingdom have such terrifying power? And what the ghost spider reported next made him gnash his teeth even more, and his whole mind was filled with flames of anger. 193 Four veteran vice admirals sacrificed their lives on the battlefield and were killed by the enemy on the spot, and Mamasugi vice admiral was captured by the enemy. The 20,000 elite marines, according to statistics, now there are only 6,256 left. Now, is there anything worse than this? The loss this time is undoubtedly extremely old. A total of four marine vice admirals were buried in the sea forever. This is the mainstay of naval headquarters, the powerful veteran vice admiral. At this moment, Sengoku's heart hurts so much that he almost gritted his teeth, and his heart is about to bleed. Celestial dragons. Lousy your code. Isn't it all because of that fool in St. Charlois? If Street. Charos is still alive, Sengoku may not be able to bear it, and blow him to death with the impact of the Buddha. Sengoku, hey. Seeing Sengoku who was already enduring his rage to the extreme, Suru Vice Admiral wanted to say something, but finally sighed. This time, naval headquarters, regardless of the fact of defeat, lost all face. After all, even the gates of others were close, and they were directly beaten to pieces by the enemy, and they fled and retreated desperately. So many Vice Admiral and Rear Admiral, Marine Elite died. What's even more outrageous is that Mamasugi, who was a Marine Admiral Reserve, was captured alive by the enemy. It would be fine if he won the battle, but it ended like this. As the Marshal, Sengoku didn't explode on the spot, and he could still hold his breath. Sengoku's mood was already too strong for Yamatofen. What about Kazaru and Aokiji? Sengoku clenched his fists and asked in a low and hoarse voice. The two admirals have also left the battlefield and will return to naval headquarters soon. On the other side of the phone bug, the ghost spider with a broken arm said with bloodshot eyes. Okay, I get it, you guys should take care of those surviving marines and hurry back to naval headquarters as soon as possible. In the end, Sengoku was panting with anger, his chest was heaving and rising, his eyes were full of killing intent, and he hung up the phone. Garp. Suddenly, Sengoku cursed in a low voice. If Garp had been involved this time, he believed that this extremely miserable situation would never have happened. But he was very helpless in his heart, and he knew that Garp would never carry out such an order. No matter who dares to force him, Garp will not take a bird. He really drove him into a hurry, and he retired on the spot for you to see. It's time to see who really should be anxious. Therefore, Sengoku could only vent his anger by cursing the old Garp. Report the situation to Commander-in-Chief Kong according to the facts, and let the people, a cat from the world government handle the mess that follows. Finally, Sengoku said to Suru Vice Admiral who hesitated to speak. Okay, I understand. Crane Vice Admiral nodded, with a trace of pain in his eyes. But I have seen old friends die in battle, seriously injured and retreated to the second line. She's gotten used to it too. As for what Sengoku said, the mess that followed. In fact, it is the glorious battle between Marine and World Government, and now it is about to become the laughing stock of the whole world. Before the departure, it was so grand and mobilized the crowd. Now that he is going to become a laughing stock for the ridicule of the major forces in the world, one can imagine how much headache the current Marine executives have. Kingdom of Agar. Luke. Next time, Marine will not be as simple as this time. Sitting on the marshal's chair, Sengoku gritted his teeth with an extremely indifferent expression, and muttered to himself with murderous intent in his eyes. What Sengoku was worried about finally happened. Just about an hour after Marine Buster Call was defeated, a piece of news swept the world. 
When everyone saw the news released by Xi Jingbao, the whole world was shocked and shocked. Big Bang. Big Bang. Big Bang. The latest news published by Xi Jingbao is selling like crazy. All the big and small forces, kingdoms, and dark world forces who have seen the news of the World Economic Daily. People all over the world were stunned by this news, and their scalps went numb. Blast. Marine Buster Call is defeated head-on. Shocked. Four top combat powers appeared in the Kingdom of Agar, defeating the double admiral. Surprise. Behind the failure of Buster Call, the reason is. Buster Call was defeated by Agar Kingdom. Marine Reserve Admiral, Mamasugi were captured alive on the spot, Aokiji Kazaru was seriously injured, ordered the entire Marine Buster Call fleet to retreat. The Marine Buster Call fleet was defeated by the strong men of the Agar Kingdom without even seeing the gate. Even, the Kingdom of Agar didn't have any high-end combat casualties, only a few strong men and an army of thousands of people were dispatched. On the Marine side, four people were killed in Vice Admiral, seven people were killed in Rear Admiral. The rest of the Marine elite casualties amounted to more than 13,000 people. This tragic news completely shocked the whole world. Seeing the big news of the exclusive page and article of Xi Jingbao, the whole world went crazy. As soon as the news came out, Uzumaki, the kingdom of Agar, was caught in a world storm, and became the target of fear and attention from all major forces in the world. However, the news that shocked them and stunned them is still to come. That is, Agir kingdom wanted order. When the great figures of the world's major powers see. The news that Marine Buster Call was defeated by the Agar kingdom was shocking enough. When they were already digesting this shocking news, Xi Jingbao published another news. Once this news was sent out, it was like a super bomb that would destroy the world. It blasted people all over the world until their brains buzzed, their eyes widened in shock, and their mouths couldn't even close for a long time. And the news that makes their scalps tingle is. The Kingdom of Agar actually offered a reward to the outside world. The Buster Call fleet and marines above the Vice Admiral level who escaped this time were all wanted by the Kingdom of Agar and offered rewards. People all over the world have been numb to Shu's scalp by this one-handed operation of the Kingdom of Agar. In less than an hour, under the publication and publicity of the major branch newspapers of Xi Jingbao, it instantly spread to every corner of the world. The Kingdom of Agar has set an unprecedented precedent, that is, issuing a wanted warrant for Marine. Sabayati Archipelago. Hey, hello. Is this kingdom crazy? How dare you issue a warrant for Marine Admiral? Doesn't the Kingdom of Agar have the strength to issue a warrant? You guy, even Marine Admiral and Buster Call have been defeated. It's so cool. The King of Agar Kingdom, my Superman. It's decided, I just need to establish the IGA Support Club. Really? Justin brother, please let me join, I will give you a basket of high-end eggs worth a million baileys. How can it be repaired? Then I'll give you a cart of basketballs. I just want to join the fan club. I've also decided, I'm going to settle in the Kingdom of Agar. Amidst the discussions of Sabayati Archipelago, there seems to be a different voice. In the era when the gods of a certain world fell, only that, man, has always existed as the top class. Town of Rog. It's terrible, this kingdom, even Marine has lost. Deserve it. Who told naval headquarters to obey the orders of the world government? Minions. Hey, hey, you brat, what are you talking about? Colonel Smoker is also from Naval Headquarters. Brother Smoker is not the same as those Marines. A little bit. In the square, there were voices of children arguing with adults. New World. Ku la 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 la. What an interesting kid. Interesting. On the Moby Dick, Whitebeard had an infusion tube inserted into his body, read the content in the newspaper, and laughed while pinching his wine bowl. Dad, you can drink less. Marco looked at Whitebeard worriedly drinking while infusion, feeling very headache. However, he also felt chills in his heart at the strength displayed by the Agar Kingdom. Four top combat forces. This is probably even better than their four emperor's forces. Facing this terrifying kingdom, their only advantage is that they can attack without any scruples. Marco, any news about Ace? Well, Ace Lin, an island town somewhere in the New World. Thief ha 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 ha. Interesting, this king is too fond of lousy. Thief ha ha ha. It's really shocking, world government. Marine. It doesn't feel good to be fed shit, thief ha 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 ha. 
Luke, if you have a chance, maybe you can get to know each other. Blackbeard Teach looked at the newspaper in his hand and laughed wildly. Obviously, Blackbeard agrees and admires Luke's counterattack against the world government and naval headquarters. The major forces in the world, and the rest of the four emperors pirate group, were also shocked and gloated at this. This time, the world government and naval headquarters both created momentum for the kingdom of Agar, and promoted it to the altar. But they have become clowns under the altar. Calm belt, Amazon lily. Daughter country. The pirate empress Hancock, looking at the newspaper held in the slender white jade hand, fell into a state of extremely shocking trance. Unbelievable, that man, actually beat Buster Call. Moreover, it is actually a bounty for the marine admirals. In addition to these few newspapers, there are also several wanted warrants in her white jade hand. Wanted. With photos. Pelusolino. Identity. Admiral of Headquarters Kazaru. Charges. Aiding evil, working for the world government, leading the Buster Call fleet, massacring hundreds of thousands of civilians in Sergisk Island under King Agar, and raising Sergisk Island to ruins. It has caused great harm to the Kingdom of Agar and even more so to the safety of the whole world. A reward is hereby offered, regardless of life or death. Bounty. 3.2 billion baileys. Wanted. With photos. Kuzan. Identity. Admiral of Headquarters Aokiji. Charges. Aiding evil, working for the world government, leading the Buster Call fleet, massacring hundreds of thousands of civilians in Sergisk Island under King Agar, and raising Sergisk Island to ruins. It has caused great harm to the Kingdom of Agar, and even more so to the safety of the whole world. A reward is hereby offered, regardless of life or death. Bounty. 2.8 billion baileys. Wanted. With photos. Flying Squirrel. Identity. Naval Headquarters Vice Admiral Flying Squirrel. Charges. Aiding evildoers, serving the world government. Participated in Buster Call. One of the Vice Admirals, massacred hundreds of thousands of civilians in the city of Sergisk Island under King Agar, and raised the city of Sergisk Island to ruins. It has caused great harm to the Kingdom of Agar, and even more so to the safety of the whole world. A reward is hereby offered, regardless of life or death. Bounty. 940 million baileys. Ghost Spider, 24,000 yuan profit. Bastille, 420 million baileys. Mamasagi Vice Admiral was captured and there is no bounty on his arrest warrant. For the remaining Marine Vice Admirals that survived, the minimum rewards are all starting with 400 million baileys. The flying squirrel is the tallest among them, followed by the ghost spider. The crimes on this wave of arrest warrants are indeed an act of exaggerating propaganda by the Kingdom of Agar. But among the news that broke out one after another, the last piece of news was that the Kingdom of Agar had sued the world government and naval headquarters for their brutal and inhumane actions. The value that slaughtered all the hundreds of thousands of civilians on the island of the Sergisk Kingdom they had just conquered is completely false data. In fact, there are only a few tens of thousands of people, but does this matter now? The photos in the newspapers published pictures of the ruins of the Sergisk Kingdom from various angles. There are also photos of Kazaru firing lasers to destroy towns, and the people of Fangping waiting to die in despair. When the yellow mud falls on the crotch, it is either shit or shit. This pot, world government and naval headquarters are determined. Prior to this, the world was afraid of the power controlled by the world government. Buster Call happened more than once, but no one dared to say it so swaggeringly. It even used this as a basis to publicize accusations and accusations, and even wanted the executors of Buster Call. The Agar Kingdom is the first kingdom in history to do this, so it directly ignited the world's fishing boat storm. Shock the world. Holy Land Mariajoy, Pangu City. The Chamber of Supreme Powers. At this moment, the five elders were also discussing with extremely ugly faces. They never thought that the Kingdom of Agar would possess such a powerful and terrifying power. Even the Buster Call with three Admiral Combat Strength can be defeated head-on, and now the challengers are all captured alive by the enemy. Sengoku has already told them that he will communicate with the King of Agar Kingdom to try to redeem Mamasugi Vice Admiral. At that time, the money will be paid by the world government. The matter was provoked by the Celestial Dragons, and the Buster Call was also issued by the world government. Marine has no money, and the world government must also pay for it. 
Sengoku's attitude annoyed the five elders, but there was nothing they could do about it. People must be redeemed, this is an admiral level combat power. And if Mamasugi is not redeemed, who knows that the kingdom of Agar will use Mamasugi to do something that would embarrass the world government and naval headquarters. In this regard, five elders could only pinch their noses in recognition. This king actually hides such an astonishing combat power, he really has been tricked. Five elders, who had an upturned beard with obvious Madara scar marks on his forehead, stared with anger on his face. There is nothing to talk about until now, presumably the Kingdom of Eagle has already thought of a plan against us. Otherwise, the news would not have spread so fast, making the world government and naval headquarters instantly the laughing stock of the whole world. Quote. Five elders, with blonde hair and a square face, said calmly. They five elders are certainly not stupid. Obviously, the Kingdom of Agar has long been confident that it can defeat the buster call launched by Marine. The means of how to counterattack the world government and naval headquarters in the future have already been prepared. The more important thing now is how to deal with this disgraceful thing for the world government. Now the whole world is spreading these news like crazy, watching all the world government jokes. Wearing a black hat, Five Elders' face turned cold, and he went on to say, the idiots of the franchise countries are also making use of this to protest our massacre caused by Buster Call this time. HMPH. A bunch of stupid pigs, they really don't know how to live or die, let the people from the CP agency warn them. Do you really think that fleas can jump twice on the body of the world government? With a bald head holding a sword and wearing glasses, Tianyu Five Elders snorted coldly, with murderous intent flashing in his eyes. All they need is a group of obedient dogs who pay tribute on time. And those who are disobedient must not be soft when it is time to beat them. So, what about the Agar Kingdom's response? Five elders, with a long goatee, asked. Let's put this matter on hold for the time being, and deal with the news that is not good for us now. Now according to various signs, and the terrifying power displayed by this kingdom, it is not something we can easily win. Quote. After thoroughly investigating their details, detailed information, and how much high-end combat power they have, we will make preparations. Use all your strength to completely wipe out this kingdom. Five elders, with blonde hair and a square face, said in a deep voice. As he spoke, a terrifying power erupted from him. Seconded. Seconded. As soon as five elders with blonde hair and square face spoke, all the five stars present agreed after careful consideration. Notify Sengoku, agree to his request, no matter what the cost, first redeem Mamasugi Vice Admiral. Tianyu Five Elders said. Five Elders, with blonde hair and a square face, nodded, summoned an elite world government operator, and informed them. Naval Headquarters. When Sengoku saw the arrest warrant for Agar Kingdom, he was so angry that he almost smashed his desk. Immediately afterwards, he saw the last piece of news, seeing the filthy and slanderous behavior of Kai Guago above. Sengoku was almost blown away by Luke's outrageous behavior. It has been several hours since the failure of the Marine Buster Call fleet. According to the investigation by the CMP organization and the intelligence department on the Marine side. The original Sergisk Kingdom, after being conquered by the Agar Kingdom, had already carried out a large-scale transfer of immigration a few days ago. Hundreds of thousands of former Sergisk civilians were transferred to the Kingdom of Agar, and only tens of thousands remained, only recognizing the civilians of the former royal family. Left there, completely abandoned by Luke. So with the help of the knife in Marine's hand, all these tens of thousands of foolish people who did not obey his rule were slaughtered. In the end, Marine Buster Call was defeated, and the big black pot for destroying the country was really pinned on the head of naval headquarters. The Kingdom of Agar, on the other hand, stood at the top level of morality and benevolence, and crazily accused and insulted the naval headquarters and world government in the mud. This can't be explained at all, after all, who in the world doesn't know what kind of shit is Marine's Buster Call? If you don't take the blame, who will take the blame? Thank you, blame man. Yeah, really good, Luke. As the lord of a country, you are indeed ruthless and brave enough. Even Sengoku couldn't help but gritted his teeth and sighed in admiration after analyzing the whole story. Call. Inhale and exhale deeply, and regulate your anger and aggrieved emotions. 
Sengoku, under the watchful eyes of a group of marine executives, began to contact Agar Kingdom, the contact phone bug of Assistant Minister Yas. Poro Poro Poro. Poro Poro. Kacha. Moses Moses, first a marine marshal Sengoku. I'm looking for your King Luke. As soon as the call was connected, Sengoku immediately opened his mouth to reveal himself. Okay, Your Excellency Sengoku. Please wait a moment, I will go to ask His Majesty the King for instructions. On the other end of the phone bug, came Yasi's plain reply. Then, a few minutes passed. All the high-ranking Marines in the Marshal's office slowly showed humiliation and resentment. Because they discovered that the fool guy who answered the phone had been standing there the entire time, not moving a single step at all. Shame. Agreed. It is the voice of the Marine executives present here at this moment. Luke, this is putting on airs for them, and it is even more aimed at their blows. Five minutes passed. Yas looked at Luke on the throne, and saw Luke pull out a phone bug queen. Then he said to the phone bug in his hand without haste, I've been waiting for a long time, Your Excellency Sengoku, this is the phone bug number of His Majesty the King, please remember. In the end, Yas told Luke the number of the phone bug, so that Sengoku's phone bug could access this numbered channel and make contact. I see. Taking a deep breath, Sengoku responded in a deep voice. Click. After hanging up the phone, Yas bowed and retreated to stand beside the red carpet in the main hall. Poro poro poro. Not half a minute after hanging up the phone bug, Luke's phone bug woke up from a deep sleep. Balu called out quickly, reminding Luke to pick up the phone. Kacha. Luke picked up the phone lazily, but didn't speak immediately. Instead, it was waiting for Sengoku to speak up. After all, the initiative is now in his hands, he can do whatever he wants, Sengoku can't do anything about him. Unconvinced. Then bear with it. Otherwise, just wait for him to overturn the table first. Not to mention the buster call war this time, if he hadn't issued an order not to pursue him. With the possible exception of Marine Admiral, all Marines have to die in the waters of Sergisk. If you really want to say it, Sengoku has to say it to Luke respectfully, thank you brother Luke. The status of the two sides is no longer equal at this time, Luke stands on the cloud, while Sengoku can only look up from the ground. I'll stop talking nonsense, Luke. Mamasugi Vice Admiral should still be alive, tell me your conditions. Sengoku spoke in a deep voice. He didn't know that Luke deliberately put on a show of power to himself again and again, in order to beat him. After all, their marine launched a buster call to conquer it, but it failed. But there is still an indissoluble hatred between the two sides. What can I do if I have been manipulated by others? The initiative is in the hands of others, no matter how unconvinced and aggrieved you are, you can only grit your teeth and endure it. Oh. It turns out that Mr. Marshall came here for this matter. Quote. Luke looked suddenly enlightened, and continued, Of course, Miss Ziyuan is receiving the best treatment in this king's kingdom now. Hearing this, Sengoku breathed a sigh of relief, is that really the case? Fortunately, this man didn't have any excessive thoughts, otherwise, for a female marine, this would definitely be a life-ruining experience. The king is quite fond of her, or let her stay in the kingdom of Ijie, and be my king's servant and daughter. It's just that Sengoku hasn't breathed back yet, even after hearing Luke's words. This made his complexion instantly ugly. Stop kidding Luke. Let Mamasugi Vice Admiral go and make your offer. Sengoku said with a dark face, eyes spitting fire. Since Mr. Marshall is so anxious, then the king is gone. Five billion baileys, plus ten devil fruits. The king let her go. Quote. Luke chuckled and made his offer. It's just that once Luke opened his mouth, Sengoku's originally dark gray face immediately became extremely gloomy. A corner of the office was directly broken by him. Don't take it too far Luke. You know it's impossible. Sengoku, whose forehead was already bursting, suppressed the anger in his heart, and his tone began to take on some warning. Up to three billion, five devil fruits. This is the greatest sincerity of our marine, Luke. Be a human and stay on the front line, there will be a long time in the future. Sengoku growled with a dark face. Several marine executives in the office silently exited the office, leaving only Suru Vice Admiral and Sengoku behind. The scene where Marshal Marine was slaughtered was not something they could see, and it was not suitable to stay here for a long time. 
they wisely chose to leave the office and go to the corridor outside. Can. Unexpectedly, Luke's straightforward answer made Sengoku stunned a little bit. He didn't expect that Luke is so easy to talk to. Did he bargain too low? This guy, shouldn't the estimated ransom in his heart be very low? Ma Dan. If I knew it earlier, I should have cut it harder. This can also earn some military expenses for naval headquarters. Anyway, the ransom is also paid by the world government. Careless. But there is one condition attached. Sengoku thought to himself, sure enough, the other party agreed so readily, there must be other requirements. Say. Sengoku said wordlessly. The island city of Sergisk under the king's banner was destroyed by your marine, and now it urgently needs to be rebuilt, requiring a lot of materials and materials. It is also funded by your naval headquarters, which is probably the amount to build the main city of a big country. Quote. In the king's hall, Luke hugged Kuang San's soft body and laughed. He had a gentle and gentle smile on his face, but the words he said were like knives piercing Sengoku's whole body. Back quote, are you crazy? Materials and materials from the main city of a big country. Impossible. Hearing this, Sengoku almost jumped up. In such a conversion, two billion baileys and five devil fruits are nothing. The main city of a powerful first-class kingdom, that huge area and building materials. How could it be built without a base of at least several billion baileys? What's more, Marine Vice Admiral is just a reserve admiral. How could the world government agree to such an outrageous ransom? I'm afraid it's not that they are determined not to hand over the hostages, right? Watch your words. Marshal Sengoku. Sengoku's attitude obviously made Luke's mood drop suddenly, and his tone became cold. Now you marines are begging me, not me begging you marine. It's good to say that there is no righteousness in business, but between you and me, Mo Nuohau, is there such a possibility? The deaths of hundreds of thousands of civilians have not been counted. You can pull it down. There are only tens of thousands of people, you, don't think that the old man is really being taken advantage of. Sengoku Shinchunin couldn't help rolling his eyes, scolding Luke for being shameless. Sorry, the old man lost his temper. Breathe in. Breathe out. Sengoku's face at this moment was so gloomy that it was about to drip water. Seeing that, Vice Admiral was a little worried, whether Sengoku would be overwhelmed by Luke on the spot. Then follow the original ransom terms. Hearing Sengoku's sincere attitude of admitting his mistake, Luke nodded in satisfaction and said in a leisurely tone. This sentence almost didn't make Sengoku explode on the spot, smashing the phone bug. It's so special, Sengoku still can't figure it out, this brat. It's just playing with him. This brat was obviously trying to retaliate against him, and he just slashed the ransom severely. He didn't bargain with himself at all, but gave himself an additional condition that was even more difficult to achieve. Embarrassing myself, losing my temper and breaking my defenses, I finally forced myself to agree to the initial conditions. This kind of negotiation method, in an ancient and great country, is called, compromise. Only people from rabbit country understand what this means. Humans are eclectic in nature. Sengoku is not a fool, and a fool cannot sit in the position of Marine Marshal. And he, known as the resourceful general, instantly understood Luke's routines and scheming. Obviously, Luke himself knows very well. It is simply impossible for the world government to agree to pay such a terrible price, just to redeem a marine high level who is only admiral. So from the beginning to the end, his ransom conditions have no intention of changing. You are vicious. Sengoku gritted his teeth angrily. The other party's words have already reached this point, if he refuses again. Then there is really no room for maneuver. 320 anyway, the world government will pay the ransom, so I agree with it. Anyway, it wasn't me who was bleeding. It's just that when I think of the four marine vice admirals who died, there are still so many elite marines. Sengoku closed his eyes in pain. World government, heaven and man. Sengoku has never hated celestial dragons as much as it does today. Four naval headquarters mainstay vice admiral for one dead troublemaker maggot. There are also Rear Admiral, the Colonel, more than 13,000 people. Sengoku kept this account in his heart. I agreed to your conditions, when will people do it? After learning from the pain, Sengoku calmed down again, and asked in a cold voice. 
Five days later, when your Marine's ransom comes to your door, I can go back with you at that time. Luke's indifferent voice came from the phone bug. Sengoku frowned. In five days, the people from Holy Land brought the ransom out and met Marine on the way. Then to the sea area of the Agar Kingdom, theoretically speaking, the voyage time is about the same. But suddenly there was a bad feeling in his heart, and he always felt that Lu would not be so honest. He couldn't help but said, You'd better not play other tricks Luke, you should know that the real initiator of this kind of war is the world government. At this time, Sengoku was also worried that Luke would choose to do black hands and swallow all the ransom money. Then give Mamasugi Vice Admiral too. In a hurry, he couldn't help explaining. He he. Of course, this king has always kept his promises, so you don't have to worry about it. As for the matter of world government, I will take care of it later. In the king's hall, Luke's eyes flickered with a dangerously cold light. Okay. Luke, I believe you. After getting a solid answer from Luke, and directing the hatred to the world government. Sengoku breathed a sigh of relief. But soon, his expression changed, and he quickly continued, Besides, this old man doesn't want this matter to be exposed, do you understand what I mean? Depend on my mood. Click. The phone bug was hung up, and Sengoku stared blankly at the phone bug in his hand. Suddenly, I could no longer bear the anger that had been suppressed in my heart for a long time, and crushed it like a volcanic eruption. Hum. The scarlet color flickered in the pupils full of anger, and a circle of strong white wind pressure erupted from Sengoku's body, sweeping away towards the outside of the office. Boom. In the office in front of him, he was directly overturned by the strong air wave released by Conqueror's Hockey. The entire marshal's office was swept away by the conqueror's hockey released by Sengoku at that moment, causing chaos. Whoa. Although in terms of strength, it is far from enough to compare with Shanks, the world's strongest conqueror's hockey owner. But Sengoku, the righteous conqueror's hockey who dominates the world, is powerful enough and extraordinary. Are you all right, Sengoku? Watching Sengoku panting like a cow, and burst out with conqueror's hockey. Crane Vice Admiral stepped forward with some concerns, and asked with concern. Huh, the old man is fine, granny he. Sengoku, who calmed down his anger, waved his hands in a low tone and said. Notify the world government now. Crane Vice Admiral nodded and said no more. Kingdom of Agar. In the prison under the palace. Ah, uh, where is this? Mamasugi, who woke up in a daze, looked around with beautiful eyes. What came into view was the relatively dim underground prison, with various instruments of torture and tools placed on the edge of the walls. Moreover, this is a closed solitary cell, with a few dim electric lights hanging from the ceiling. And even though she had traces of being bandaged by treatment, she was locked up by chains. Standing up from the solid steel bed, all limbs were chained, and the other end was embedded in the wall. She tried to break free, but found that it was very difficult to break free. Instead, it was my wrists and ankles that were strangled by the huge force I was trying to break free. By the way, I was defeated by that child before I lost consciousness. Suddenly, Mamasugi, who had a headache, woke up instantly. Am I captured alive? What happened to the Buster Call fleet? Is the kingdom of Agar really wiped out? Mamasugi, who realized his current bad situation, was completely autistic at this time. She, as a dignified Marine Admiral Reserve, was defeated by the enemy and captured. When she said the last sentence, Mamasugi felt that she was a little too stupid. If the Agar Kingdom is really wiped out, will he still be imprisoned here alone? Answer. Didn't you give an obvious and clear answer based on your current dire situation? He he he, the Kingdom of Agar is fine, but the Buster Call fleet has fled miserably. Suddenly, the prison door was opened. A tall, handsome boy walked in. So handsome. It's my sister's dish. When Mamasugi heard the sound of the door opening, and looked in the direction of the slightly cold voice. In an instant, her little heart couldn't help beating rapidly. But immediately, she came back to her senses, and all unrealistic thoughts were cooled to death. Because, she recognized who this handsome and excessive young man in front of her was. Kingdom of Agile, King Luke. When she saw who it was, she added what he said. A heart that just couldn't help beating violently, suddenly sank to the bottom of the valley. What's the meaning? Although she already knew the news that the Buster Call fleet was defeated, 
she still planned to get to the bottom of it and know the details. Even if this information is given by the enemy, if Buster Call is really defeated. Then no matter how the other party concocted to deceive her, there was absolutely no need for it. Of course Marine Buster Call was defeated, with numerous casualties, and chose to flee in embarrassment. A mere naval headquarters, who also want to destroy our lord's great kingdom, ridiculously stupid people. Luke didn't open his mouth to explain, and Ludben behind him snorted coldly, and replied simply to Mamasagi. The words are full of disdain for naval headquarters. Hearing this, Mamasagi snorted coldly and did not refute. Indeed, naval headquarters moved to launch the buster call this time is indeed too stupid. But, who would have thought that the Agar kingdom possessed such terrifying power? Naval headquarters has been defeated, do you know why I didn't kill you? Walking in front of Mamasagi, Luke showed a funny expression, looked at Mamasagi's mature and beautiful face and said. You want to use me to threaten Marine? Hee hee, just give up, I'm just a Marine Vice Admiral. Mamasagi, who is bound by chains, sneered, looking at Luke's handsome face, and the deep black, as if there was a magical power that attracted people. Suddenly there was a strange feeling in my heart, her beautiful eyes drifted away, and she turned her head away, not daring to stare at Luke again. Indeed, first contacted Marine and asked them to pay the ransom and redeem you back. It's a pity. At the end, Luke shook his head regretfully. What a pity. Could it be? Hearing what Luke said, Mamasagi's heart skipped a beat, with a bad premonition. Naval headquarters didn't agree, you really don't have the value to make naval headquarters bow to me. Since naval headquarters has abandoned you, why don't you become the king's person, how about serving the king? As he spoke, Luke smiled evilly, and Tuta raised Tiautu's smooth and white chin with his hands. The handsome face was close, and the hot breath hit Mamasagi's mature and beautiful face. The latter suddenly looked ashamed, and the strange feeling in his heart became even stronger. Why does this man in front of her always have a magical power that makes people obsessed, she can't help but think about it. Looking at Luke's handsome face and deep eyes, Mamasagi's eyes were a little blurred. I won't be strengthened by the system to become a succubus, right? Seeing Mamasagi's posture, Luke's heart skipped a beat. He had already noticed something was wrong long before, the woman he watched for a long time would always blush inexplicably and become awkward. A similar situation is still happening today with Mamasagi who has a hostile relationship. This is just your one-sided statement, do you think I will believe it? After a while, he suddenly shook his head, and Tiao Yu said in a cold voice after recovering. Pretty smart. Luke casts an appreciative glance at Mamasagi. It is true that he is fooling Mamasagi, it is true that it is due to his bad taste of being a queen. Since this is the case, let's make a bet. After three days, if naval headquarters still does not release the news, they will redeem you. Then you must obey me unconditionally. Quote. With two fingers pinching Mamasagi's fair chin, Luke swung it left and right, with a wicked smile on his face. Stop pinching my face, let go. Do you really think I'm a fool, so what if you just take a few rolls to fool me? Mamasagi is obviously not a stupid woman, and she will never obediently agree. Ludben, you go down first. Looking at Mamasagi who was staring at him angrily, Luke said to Ludben behind him. Yes, your majesty. Seeming to understand something, Ludben saluted respectfully, then closed the door and left. Well, the next moment, when Ludben left, Mamasagi's beautiful eyes suddenly widened in disbelief. Immediately afterwards, there was a fierce struggle and resistance. How dare this man treat her? There are good talkers in Beijing, and Luke's superb skills, which are as clever as a tongue, slowly made Mamasagi become honest. Started to have unskilled responses, imitating Luke. That enchanting magical power once again eroded her mind and consciousness. Mamasagi was deeply involved and couldn't control himself for a while. A few minutes later, Mamasagi, who had almost learned it, broke away suddenly, with a look of shame flashing in his eyes. Extremely ashamed and indignant, he said with a murderous look in his eyes, how dare you. But before he finished speaking, Luke posted it again, and started the second stage of eating. Ah. After a few times. Mamasagi was about to collapse, and the abnormalities all over her body made her unable to maintain her sanity at all. 
if you don't agree to the handsome man in front of you, who knows if he will take more excessive actions. Mamasugi is really scared, this man is really poisonous. Zero. Point zero. It was too domineering, and he didn't give himself the slightest chance to resist. And she was obviously resisting all the time, but there was another voice in her heart, which made her accept it uncontrollably. Now she is really afraid that she will sink into it and become a plaything in this man's hands. Very well, I like obedient women. Don't worry, news and newspapers have serial numbers, and I will send you the newspapers within these three days. Quote. Tasted the 30-year-old citrus nectar tea brewed by Naval Headquarters Vice Admiral, it was sweet and delicious. Luke was stroking Mamasugi with satisfaction at the moment, flushed cheeks that were both angry and ashamed. Luke left after taking another sip of the citrus nectar tea under Mamasugi's annoyed gaze. This little. What kind of strength is it? Watching Luke leave, Mamasugi's flushed face gradually recovered. Just now, she couldn't even burst out the strength of resistance, and she was suppressed to death. This made her secretly startled. She suddenly realized that this king was able to control so many terrifying powerhouses without relying on other external objects. It is the power of the reign of terror that it possesses. You little brat, you don't know how to send me some change of clothes. Mamasugi wants to cry but has no tears. It's okay to be captured, but now he is being bullied by others. In the end the bullying was over, but he didn't even give himself a new pair of pants. After finishing Mamasugi for the time being, Luke had just come out of the dungeon in the palace. The graceful figure of Kurumi came out from the shadow space passage, looking at Luke with a playful expression. Stepping on the catwalk calmly and gracefully, a pair of jade lotus arms hugged Luke, raising her small hands like catkins. Gently squeezed his chin, pulling Luke's head down. Standing on tiptoe, he took a shallow peck like a dragonfly. You really have a bad taste, Mr. Luke, I didn't expect you to have such a hobby. It's really, a surprise. After all, Kuang Sanchen licked his red lips. Showing a very interested and evil expression, how about it, do you need me to teach you a lesson? Satisfy Luke's special hobby. Saying that, Kuang San blinked his eyes eagerly, 403. Snapped. Okay. However, Luke picked him up, shook his body, and said viciously, are you in a hurry again? Hmm. Kuang San's cheeks were reddish, and he didn't deny it. I wore the style you mentioned earlier today, he he he. Are you looking forward to it? Do you want to see it? As soon as the words fell, Luke's eyes suddenly lit up. If he remembers correctly, what he said before was the black suspenders worn by Kwangsan on the Shishi festival in the original book, The Style. Luke's eyes lit up when he thought of the picture of Kurumi wearing that suit. Really? You didn't lie to me? Luke tilted his head hesitantly, and looked at Kurumi in his arms questioningly. HMPH. Mr. Luke will reveal the secret by himself, don't you know? Faced with Luke's questioning, Kuang San's fair and beautiful face puffed up, and he snorted to express his dissatisfaction. Fortunately, she searched for it for a long time, and finally found the inner one that Luke said. In the end, this guy actually questioned her, suspecting that she was playing tricks on him. Kuang San suddenly became a little unhappy. Bo, of course I believe San San. Imprinted on Kuang San's red lips, Luke stroked her little head and said. Faced with this intimacy, Kuang San murmured, temporarily forgiving someone's questioning behavior. By the way, do you know Wu Hei Shido? Suddenly, Luke remembered a question and asked. Itsuka. Shido. Who is this? Hearing the name Luke asked, Kuang San tilted his head and asked a question in confusion. Then she said with some uncertainty, you mean Wu Hei Shiji, right? I've never heard of Wu Hei Shidao's name at all. After all, among the only two people she knew well, only Sister Wu Hei had this name. As for the name Wu Hei Shidao, I have never heard of it. Has the original world been changed? Hearing this, Luke's mind was spinning, and he thought of this question in an instant. Because of his call, the fate of people in the original world will undergo unpredictable changes and changes. What's wrong? Do you know the Five Rivers sisters too? Kurumi asked curiously. Sweat. Sorry, Sister Katori is quite familiar, but Sister Shiori is really too unfamiliar. Luke was speechless. But when he thought that Wuhei Shidao had really become a girl, he was actually quite happy. I'm sorry, 
Shido-kun, the elf sisters can only be taken care of by me. Ah no, it's time to weave my sister now. If there is a chance in the future, Luca's curious whether the other party will look the same as when he was dressed as a woman in the original book. Of course, there is no such thing as whether there will be an original impulse to it. Luke really can't accept it, he will be very responsive in all aspects of his mind and body, and he will resist it stubbornly. There are so many wives in the second dimension, looking for a sissy character, can you eat pancakes? No, I don't know. Withdrawing all his thoughts, Luke said lightly in denial. HMPH. Kuang San didn't believe it, and looked at Luke with a charming and charming smile. Since Luke would say this name suddenly and inexplicably, then Luke must be hiding something. This made Kuang San Yi suddenly a little curious, and decided to give the secret of Vice Admiral from Luke. While chatting and laughing, the two had already arrived at the king's bedroom. When Luke saw Kuang San take off her dress and show off her graceful figure. Rolling in the throat, I can't hold it anymore. After an unknown period of time, Kurumi could no longer stand Luke's powerful strength. He directly agreed to Luke's ridiculous request before, and called Hurley Bell over in the middle of the night. The two girls teamed up, a platinum mid-level and a gold top-level powerful existence, and together they started a brand new training and battle guidance for Luke. In the end, the two sisters were completely defeated. They were suppressed and beaten all the way, even if the two women teamed up, they would not be Luke's opponent at all. Even if Luke only has the strength of gold intermediate, but there is adaptation, this heaven-defying bug talent. Until the end of the battle, Luke still has about 70% of his combat power. After the daily practice guidance, Luke gave Kuang San two spirit crystals. It is used to improve Kuang San's strength. As for Hurley Bell, Luke spent another thousand source points to strengthen Hurley Bell. It is believed that the strength of both of them will be further improved because of this. Luke has already felt that he will soon be able to break through to the upper level of the gold level. It's just that he doesn't have the idea of summoning yet. 0.6. There are still many things in the Aegir Kingdom that he needs to be the master of, the special ore that makes the world government can't help but feel excited. He's going to deal with it. On the other side, Xin Xiuan. Wan Guo, Toto Land Kingdom. Cake Island, the headquarters of the Big Mom Pirates. Brat. Marine is really living and going back, a bunch of trash. He can't even win a low-level kingdom. It made me lose face in front of a group of children. In the Cake Castle on Cake Island, Aunt Big Mom was furious at this moment. It was nothing else that made Aunt angry and furious. It was the event where the Kingdom of Agar defeated the fleet of Marine Buster Call. A few days ago, a child asked her that the Kingdom of Agar seems to have two strong admirals. Will it be destroyed by Marine? In the end, she said without even thinking about it, the Kingdom of Agar must be destroyed. As a result, the Marine Buster Call fleet was defeated, and the Agar Kingdom was fine, even without any loss. This result almost didn't make the ant so angry that she couldn't eat dessert. Perospero, have you found out the reason why the world government recruited the Agar Kingdom before? The ant with round eyes and drooling stomach acid lowered her head and looked at the eldest son standing below. Asked Charlotte Perospero. Seeing the stomach acid saliva that was getting closer and closer to him, Perospero was so frightened that he quickly reported. Yes. Mom. The reason why the world government is eyeing on Agar and didn't send out the Buster Call fleet immediately is that. In the next few minutes, Perospero recounted the whole story in detail. As the world's intelligence O2 network, it has the reputation of being the number one in the industry. Two full days have passed since Buster Call's defeat. The ant who was severely slapped in the face, of course, has already explained. After listening to the summary of Perospero's intelligence, Yin's mother frowned. The obese head tilted, stomach acid saliva flowed all over the floor, and after thinking for a long time, she showed a more hideous and ugly smile. Yeah ha ha ha. Mama mama mama. Yes. That's right. That's the way it should be done, mama mama. Just let that guy try the real level of Agar Kingdom first. It seemed that the aunt who had already thought of some conspiracy, laughed so hard that her saliva splashed all over the place. After a while, the aunt stopped her unique laughter, and turned her horrified eyes to the table with desserts. On the table, besides the dessert afternoon tea, there was a huge phone bug. 
It is just the right size to be held in the hand by the ant. She made a call, narrowed her eyes slightly, and said. Moses Moses, Kaido. On the other side, Wanokuni Ghost Island. Kaido, who was drinking heavily in the inner city, picked up the phone and said impatiently, Lin Lin. Lousy doesn't have time to catch up with you now. Let the fart go. Mama Mama Mama. Hey Kaido. Didn't you ask me a while ago if I have a stronger special iron ore? In the face of Kaido's arrogance, she didn't take her seriously at all, because my mother didn't take her seriously either. Instead, he asked in a deep voice. She knew exactly what this guy Kaido was planning to occupy Wanokuni. Huh. Why, do you have news? Hearing this, Kaido, who was holding the wine barrel and pouring it vigorously, froze, and asked in a surprised and questioning tone. It's not that he doesn't believe in Big Mom's intelligence network capabilities, but that the world's best iron ore veins are basically controlled by the world government. And Wanokuni also has excellent mine resources, as well as world-class weapon foundry and technology. Even the world government needs to buy from Wanokuni and reach a cooperative transaction relationship with them. Of course. Do you still remember the kingdom that caused the whole world to stir up trouble these days? The ant asked back in a gloomy and cold tone. Huh. Why are you talking about this kingdom? Lousy is quite interested in this. It's really interesting to be able to repel two admirals buster calls. Hearing that Big Mom mentioned the kingdom of Agar, Kaido became interested immediately. As the kingdom of Agar, which has attracted the attention of the whole world these days, how could he not know about it? Moreover, he is quite interested in such a powerful kingdom. Although he didn't take Marine Admiral very seriously, it would be extremely troublesome for him if the two admirals joined forces to deal with him. Therefore, for the Agar Kingdom to be able to confront and defeat the strength of the top-level Marine Configuration Buster Call. Kaido really came up with the idea of whether it should be conquered and included in its territory. It's just that the Agar Kingdom's territory is in the first half of the Grand Line, while his territory is in the second half of the New World. It is completely out of reach, if he conquers it, he will basically be unable to hold it. In the end, not only would it be a waste of time, troops and his time, but it would also be used as a wedding dress for others. At this point, Kaido's thoughts were completely dispelled. He has a Wanokuni as a base camp, which is enough for him to develop power. In the territory of the Agar Kingdom, there is the special ore you want most. According to the intelligence we detected from the world government. This special ore can be refined and synthesized to produce a stronger and lighter steel alloy. This steel alloy can make marines warships stronger and faster by several times. How is it? Is your heart moved? Mama Mama. Ant told Kaido roughly, with eerie expression and unique laughter. Just like the evil witch in the west, the scene of gastric acid secretion and saliva dripping is really unbearable. Just like sitting not far from the ant, a girl with light brown hair sitting on the sofa opened one eye and glanced at the ant. Then he retracted his gaze and remained silent. This girl with light brown wavy hair is none other than Charlotte Pudding. Big Mom Pirates, the representative of the daughters of the Charlotte family. Ooh interesting. Didn't expect this to be the case 633. Hearing this, Kaido's eyes widened suddenly, and a hint of greed flashed in his eyes. Special ore veins. After refining and synthesizing, how many grades can the defense and speed of the warship be improved? What if it is used to build weapons? Then, he will have the strongest warship and weapons in the world. It will also obtain powerful and terrifying armed combat power in advance. Plus his hundreds of zone demon fruit power. How terrifying will the strength of his army be? Enough to start a world-class super war in advance finally won the One Piece big secret treasure and became One Piece. Uhu. Thinking of this, Kaido became very excited, this is really great. I really didn't expect that he just tentatively asked the ant. Unexpectedly, the ant really brought him such precious information. A mineral load that can be coveted by the world government must be the world's top thing. Otherwise, how could the world government go to such great lengths to obtain it? He wants this special mineral load from Kaido of the Beasts. After chatting with the ant for a few more words, Kaido didn't bother to talk nonsense with the old woman. Immediately, he hung up the phone and called the three disasters. After ten minutes, the three tall and burly people, King Yan, Quinn, and Jack the Dro, rushed to Kaido one after another. 
Brother Kaido. Brother Kaido. Boss Kaido, Brother Jin, Brother Quinn. The three of them came in front of Kaido, the youngest Jack the Dro first yelled respectfully to Kaido, and then yelled at Jin and Quinn. Shout, let's forget about those idiots under his command. In front of me, you just need to call me big brother, Jin this pervert you should be called second brother. Quote. Do you hear me, clumsy Jack? Quinn, who was sitting on a box, twisted the gear parts in his hand and said. It's enough for the idiot to have one Quinn, Jack, just work hard for me. Have you sent the latest batch of devil fruit? Also, the output of the recent Julie is not very good. Looking at the two words in front of him choking each other, from time to time, he was motivated to scold himself twice. Jack didn't dare to refute a word at all, so he could only listen silently. The strength of these two people in front of him is simply not something he can compete with. Not to mention, the big brother Yenjuo is a big sign that has followed the rise of Kaido's boss from the very beginning. And the other big brother, Plague Quinn, with powerful scientific research technology and biochemical technology, as well as strong transformation technology and strength, such as the Beast's Pirates. Among the three Kanbans, he can be said to be the most useless guy. It is completely relying on the ability of the rare ancient species Devil Fruit, and its strong strength to become the top three Kanban. So, facing these two big brothers, no matter how arrogant and unscrupulous he is in the sea outside. When he arrived at Wanokuni, in front of these two big brothers, he completely turned into a quail, and he didn't even dare to fart. Yes, I'm sorry, two big brothers. After the two finished talking, Jack the Dro secretly heaved a sigh of relief, and apologized in a deep voice. Asshole, you two are so noisy. Kaido also picked out his ears, and waited for the two of them to pinch each other before yelling. Immediately, under Kaido's oppressive scolding, the entire hall fell silent. Brother Kaido, I wonder why you called us here. Quinn wiped the gear parts in his hands, and asked curiously. If it's the pirate group that wants to kick Quinn out, I don't have any objections. Jin said in a flat and cold voice. He he he, I don't have any objection to kicking the torture pervert Jin out of the pirate group. Jin and Quinn are like a pair of enemies, as long as they meet each other. Then you must say a few words to each other before you stop, otherwise you will feel uncomfortable all over. Big brothers quarrel, I keep silent. Jack was silent and didn't dare to intervene at all, for fear that the two of them would talk and burn the fire on him again. Enough. You fools, yeah. Boom. The Conqueror's hockey bloomed, and the terrifying coercion swept the audience, involving the entire hall. Seeing that their faces changed, they stopped arguing. Kaido took back the Conqueror's hockey, and said in a deep voice, Lousy has a task for you to do now. A kingdom in the first half of the Grand Line, Lousy has taken his fancy. Take people to conquer that kingdom. Got it, then let the idiot Jack lead people to do it. Hearing that Kaido was interested in a kingdom in the newcomer sea, Quinn said without thinking. Idiot. Jin said coldly, and glanced at him cruelly and indifferently. Obviously, Brother Kaido still had something to say, so he interrupted what Brother Kaido was going to say later. I really don't know how this guy Quinn mastered those science and technology. You should all have heard of that kingdom, the kingdom that has messed up the whole world during this time, the kingdom of Agar. Kaido rubbed his head helplessly, seeing that the three of them all had a clear expression, as if they had heard about it. Obviously, all three knew which kingdom he was talking about. He went on to say, this kingdom has a special ore. After refining it into a steel alloy, the warships built are several times stronger than marines' warships. If we can also get this kind of special ore, even the world government will snatch it. At that time, we will be able to manufacture warships even more powerful than the top warships of naval headquarters. Backquote, and this special ore can be refined to make weapons. When we get the powerful weapons made from this ore, it will be worth more than 10 times and sold to the world government. Finally, the day when Laozi will launch a world-class war is not far away. As for the news in Shijingbao that the Kingdom of Agar has four admiral-level combat forces. Kaido scoffed at that. Morgans, that exaggerated birdman, doesn't he understand? For the sake of big news, the public can do shit. Being able to repel the two admirals of Buster Call shows that the Kingdom of Agar indeed has two top combat powers. 
but for the other words, Kaido didn't agree with it very much, even disdainful. A marine admiral, money is good, is nothing more than a reserve, at most it is at the same level of strength as Jin and Quinn under him. The true level of its strength, at most, just reached the threshold of admiral. Therefore, according to Big Mom's intelligence and his own estimation, the Aegir Kingdom has at most three admiral levels, and its strength is at most equal to the three admirals. Otherwise, the admirals would not have escaped successfully. The few remaining powerhouses are the high-end combat power of Marine Elite Vice Admiral. And if he personally brought the Hundred Beasts Legion, not to mention defeating the Kingdom of Aegir, and snatching away those special oars from Rear Admiral. Absolutely no problem. After all, he didn't even think about taking down his kingdom. Because the final result of doing so is that the Aegir Kingdom may be destroyed. But his beasts pirates will definitely lose a lot. And this heavy price, even Kaido can't bear it, let alone accept it. Therefore, they have only one purpose this time, and that is to loot the mines of the Kingdom of Aegir. After the goal is completed, they leave directly. By the time the high-level officials of the Aegir Kingdom reacted, they had already run away. Even with Wanokuni's easy-to-defend and hard-to-attack momentum, and the power of those powerful warriors, there is no country that can fight against it. You know, Wanokuni is a headache for even the world government and naval headquarters, and there is nothing they can do about it. Kaido really can't believe it, Aegir Kingdom really has that ability, dare to come to New World's Wanokuni, and fight him head to head. I see. After listening to Kaido's purpose and ambition, Jin immediately nodded with understanding. If the intel is true, it is indeed worth their beasts pirates to snatch it. Even if the opponent has three admiral level powerhouses, their beasts pirates are not vegetarians. And Kaido's plan is also very good, as long as it doesn't go head to head with the Aegir kingdom. Then they, the beasts pirates, may grab all those special oars without a single soldier. As expected of big brother Kaido. 600 Jin agrees with Kaido's plan very much. As for whether he will lose his identity as a four emperor's big pirate, that's a matter. I'm afraid you have forgotten, their essence is pirates. Back then, Kaido's method of capturing Wanokuni was not necessarily glorious, it was the behavior that a tyrant emperor should have. Thieves are thieves, and they will never be upright and royal. Only Odin, who is too naive and has no plans, will let them succeed. At the beginning, if Odin had the courage to lead the Red Sheath Nine Heroes and lead the samurai across the country to rise up to resist, the power of Kaido and Kurozumi Orochi would have been lost. There's no way you can beat someone on Odin's side. This is also the fact stated by Kaido himself in the original book. And what about Odin's choice? I just chose to put it badly. During my adventures with Roger and Whitebeard, I went back to Wanokuni once and rubbed the text of history. After hearing that Kaido and Kurozumi Orochi were up to no good, surprisingly, he chose to run away. Let Wanokuni fall directly into the hands of Kaido and Kurozumi Orochi. After that, people like Odin turned their backs on the country and went to sea according to their own will. And in the case of having the advantage of victory, he chose to compromise with the enemy without a fight, and his whole body was full of black material and inferior deeds. In the end, he was able to become the hero of Wanokuni. Obviously in the next few years, there will be several opportunities to lead the Red Sheath Nine Heroes and the Samurai Army to launch a war against Kaido and Kurozumi Orochi. But he still didn't do that because he believed that Kurozumi Orochi would fulfill his promise and spare the people of Wanokuni. In the end, it was Kaido himself who couldn't stand it anymore, because Kazuki Odin gave him several years to develop his power. If this continues, Kazuki Odin really has no chance of winning against him. So Kaido beheaded Leopard Goro's wife and a group of his younger brothers, in the end Koyuki Koyuki angrily brought his ten servants to settle accounts with Kaido of the Beasts. After leaving irreparable scars on Kaido of the Beasts, Kazuki Odin was finally defeated by Kaido because of his incompetence. After hearing about Kazuki Odin's heroic deeds, all the people in the original book were also moved to tears. It can only be said that Kazuki Odin who ate the fruit of emotion is really amazing. And the brain circuit of the people of Wanokuni is really strange, ACDH. Needless to say about the subsequent plot, the nine heroes of the Red Sheath are all capable users who have eaten the fruits of sit-ups. 
Even if Marine 3 Admiral Kane, seeing they're immune to death's Shaokiang physique, I'm afraid they would have to silently shed tears of envy. In the end, I can only say that with a successor like Kazuki Odin, the people of Wanokuni have really suffered eight lifetimes of bad luck. But they were finally moved by Kazuki Odin's deeds. Properly a wonderful people's country. A Kazuki Odin's moving fruit passive ability moved the entire people of Wanokuni, and those who were related to him, to tears. People don't know where to start to spit, because they can spit anywhere. I see, Mr. Kaido, when and how do you plan to do it? After Jin finished asking, the three major boards all looked at Kaido. At that time, let the three of you handle this matter, and bring a few volleyers, and the barbarian. After pondering for a moment, Kaido began to talk about the battle plan. With the latest information provided by the ant, Kaido, Jin, and Quinn quickly discussed the plan for how to snatch the special ore of the Aegir Kingdom and finally leave safely. The other side. Kingdom of Agile, Maple Mountains. In a stretch of mountains, at the foot of a towering peak. Under the mountain, a passage was excavated. Outside the mine, there are some construction site facilities. Since the strike killed the celestial dragons and repelled Pelusolino. Luke directly issued an order to maximize the daily production here and fully mined. There is no need to be afraid of other strengths at all, whether you know the existence of this special ore. Whoever dares to stretch out his hand will cut off his whole body. And now, Luke himself is here. Accompanying him are Hurley Bell, Dragon Whale Adjukas, and Tia Gassina. The last person is Luther Ben. After Luke came with a group of people, all the miners came out and bowed down to greet them. After a burst of tedious etiquette greetings, Luke picked up a piece of ore. System, view items. Single quote. Looking at the green-brown ore in his hand, Luke said silently in his heart. Pox sodium iron ore. Quality, bronze. Effect. After melting, refining and synthesizing, a steel alloy that is lighter and five times stronger than ordinary steel alloys can be obtained. Evaluation. Perhaps a certain ability user can use this iron ore to exert even more terrifying effects. Luke took direct advantage of the system's probing capabilities. After reading the information on the iron ore in his hand, Luke was really a little surprised. A steel alloy that is lighter than normal steel alloys, but five times stronger. This is a bit awesome. And the last comment. Luke's deep black eyes narrowed slightly, and he began to think. In the original book, in the early stage of One Piece, there appeared an extremely bug fruit ability user. Former king of the drum kingdom, Wapple. Munch munch fruit abilities. Its ability is to be able to swallow other fruit ability users and obtain the opponent's ability. It can also swallow several other people or objects for synthesis, and it will have different changes when it is spit out again. By eating things like cannons and weapons, you can transform your own body, or even eat yourself. In the episode two years later, the nomadic Wapple. He has experienced the hard days of being hunted down by two marines and bullied by children and puppies. After that, he ate all kinds of scrap copper and iron under the overpass, and when he spit out the scrap copper and iron again, it became a favorite toy for children. So he started to make toys, and as a result, the business grew bigger and bigger, and finally even established a world-famous toy manufacturing company. In this way, he made a fortune and married Miss Universe Kindrilla, finally gaining the approval of the world's nobles. Established a new dark drum kingdom, and was invited to participate in the world summit two years later. A real winner in life. And the biggest hero who brought him to the altar in one fell swoop is the ability of munch munch fruit to devour and synthesize. One bought a toy made by Wapple, with alloy metal attached to it, and it is a metal that humans can't research at all. After this metal is attacked and deformed, it will slowly restore its original memory metal. This discovery made Wapple completely take off. This kind of memory alloy metal is also the material that Frankie made General Frankie two years later. The current situation of this guy should be that he is still wandering around. This powerful fruit ability, Luke is bound to get it in his hands. What a waste for a guy like Wapple. It's just that the current Luke doesn't have the ability to deprive Devil Fruit's ability, but this makes Luke a bit of a headache. However, as long as Wapple is captured to work for him first, he is confident that he will gain this ability to deprive others of their abilities in the near future. Moreover, Luke himself will not eat this defective fruit, 
although his adaptive talent can evolve, the ability to resist or even nullify its side effects. But he still felt that it would be fine to just let a summoned family member eat it up at that time. At the same time, he can also get feedback and get the ability of this devil fruit. Ding, it is detected that the host is facing a problem, and the task is now issued according to the situation. Sub-quest, looking for Wapple. The real utility of Pak Nerite still needs to be transformed by suitable ability users. Find the Munch Munch Fruit ability person Wapple, and take him under his command to become a synthetic tool person for new alloys. For the growth of the Kingdom of Agar, shine and shine. Quote. Special props, Wapple Search Radar 1. The sound of the system sounded just right. Luke was secretly delighted, and praised the system for its thoughtfulness. This is really a pillow when you are sleepy, and an umbrella when it rains. It's so good. If this system was a younger sister, Luke would have to hug her no matter what. Dot dot quote. The system was speechless. After observing a nearby area, Luke found that there is a coastline behind the Maple Mountains, and there is a Zhonglu passing mine along the way. If someone invades this position, then the mine and employees here will be in big trouble. Immediately, Luke's eyes turned to the dragon whale Gassina who was following Hurley Bell. He showed a thoughtful look. Seeing his majesty the king staring at her suddenly, Gassina panicked and hid behind Hurley Bell timidly. However, her huge body of more than 3 meters high, plus the length of her tail, is almost 6 meters long, no matter how she hides, she is extremely eye-catching. Coupled with her timid expression and movements, it seems that she is really a naive critic. Cassina. Luke looked at Dragon Whale Gassina and said, Jasna, the defense and safety of this place will be entrusted to you for a while. Cena looked at Hurley Bell with some reluctance, and saw her big sister nodded slightly to herself, and then she obeyed Luke's order. However, even without Hurley Bell's advice, Gassina will obey her orders, after all, her real master is Luke. Don't worry, when the time comes, I will let Ludben's Skeleton Legion soldiers cooperate with you and let them obey your orders. You just need to stay here and guard. Other things like patrols are left to them to do. Quote. Seeing her embarrassed and bewildered look, Luke spoke again and added. Luther, who was beside him, also nodded, and with one move, thousands of skeleton legionnaires walked out of the torn black space. Point zero. Listed at the front are a hundred skeleton red devil soldiers. Yes, your majesty. Seeing this, Jia Siwen was overjoyed immediately. She couldn't be too happy about his majesty's arrangement. In this way, then she can go to Zhang Lu not far away to play and spoil to her heart's content. And there are people who come to serve her every day. All of a sudden, the unhappiness of leaving Hurley Bell's side for a while disappeared in an instant. The head of the mine, who has been by Luke's side all the time, is also bursting with ecstasy. I didn't expect His Majesty the King to come to inspect in person, but I didn't expect to send powerful experts and legions to protect their safety. The leaders of several mines were immediately moved, and their loyalty to Luke became more stable and high. They bowed down to Luke gratefully, making Luke a little dumbfounded. After dealing with the potential safety hazards in the mine, Luke returned to the kingdom with a few people. And Jocena stayed behind with thousands of skeleton legion soldiers, stationed in this important resource mining area of the Agar Kingdom. Armed with a few copies of the latest newspaper, Luke made his way to the palace's underground prison where Mamasagi was being held. The underground prison of the palace. As Luke went straight down, walked through a long passage, and turned a corner to a closed prison door. Meet His Majesty the King. At the door, the two female guards in charge immediately saluted respectfully. In his eyes, admiration could not be stopped, but he did not dare to show it. They think that their status is low, but they are not worthy of a man as stalwart as His Majesty the King. I can see His Majesty the King's side, and imprint His Majesty's handsome appearance in my mind. In the middle of the night, it is very satisfying to be able to imagine and solve it by yourself. Okay. Luke nodded slightly to the two female guards, and looked at the flushed faces of the two. The corner of his mouth twitched indistinctly. This is really a humanoid self-propelled succubus physique, Luke was speechless. Ignoring the gestures of the two female guards, 033, poking at the ground and swinging their legs, Luke walked into the open cell and closed the door. After Luke walked into the cell and closed the door, the two female guards looked at each other. 
An obviously mature female guard said to the other with some hesitation, Why don't you go and find two sets of close-fitting clothes first? Wait a little longer, the shift changes in an hour. The female guard who was asked said with a shy face. Well, it's just that the wet feeling is really uncomfortable. The mature female guard lowered her head and sighed. But when she thought that it was because of His Majesty the King, she smiled happily and immediately felt less uncomfortable. So did the other female guard. Obviously, these two female guards are completely Luke fans. After all, Luke ruled and controlled so many powerful subordinates, and the three princesses were also powerful. As the king, Luke is naturally the most loved and admired by the people of the whole country. Inside the prison room, looking at the man who was walking towards her, Mamasagi's cheeks were slightly red. Because she knew that once this man came, she would be bullied again. Mamasagi, who was sitting on the edge of the bed, was still chained with both hands and feet, unable to leave the five-meter range. For the past two days, she has relied on maids to bring her food, take care of her washing and so on. It seems that I have cultivated for three days, and I am in good spirits. Luke, who is holding three newspapers in his hand, saw the increasingly beautiful complexion on Mamasagi's face, and a smile appeared on his stern face. Here are three newspapers for today, and you know what to do next. A citrus nectar tea in exchange for a newspaper. Sitting in an expensive and luxurious chair, Luke held three newspapers, leaning his elbows on the gold armrests of the chair, and resting his chin on the back of his hands. He looked at Mamasagi with a playful expression and said. Clang 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 clang. The sound of the chain dragging and shaking sounded. The ashamed Mamasagi stood up slowly, and Shendu looked at Luchin with a bit of embarrassment in his expression and eyes. But he didn't say much, after getting close to Luke, he bent down and moved his head closer. Luke smiled slightly feeling extremely happy inside, and hugged her into his arms. Started to taste the citrus nectar tea, Mamasagi broke free a few times to no avail, then immersed himself in it helplessly and gave up. Ten minutes later, the two separated. Enough. Don't go too far. Sensing Luke's increasingly restless and excessive behavior, Mamasagi, who was too indulging in enjoyment, suddenly woke up in shame and indignation. Snatched the newspaper from Luke's hand and shouted angrily. This is the request that Luke has made in the past two days. Mamasagi wants to get the news from the outside world, and it is also related to naval headquarters. Naturally, Luke needs to be paid. After all, Luke will not honestly give her marine news every day. As for the price of getting the newspaper, Luke can't see anything but Mamasagi himself. In order to be able to get out of trouble and get rid of this man's control, Mamasagi also endured humiliation, from the very beginning he was reluctant and young. Conscious action and skillful giving to this day, three servings of citrus nectar tea a day. Even Mamasagi felt that she was a little too shameless, and she even liked this kind of tea, making citrus nectar tea for Luke, and finally drinking tea together. What kind of magical power does this man have? Why can't I help but fall in love with him? After escaping from Luke's side, Mamasagi's heart was beating rapidly, and she cursed herself inwardly. The man in front of him was an indirect man who killed four marine vice admirals, several rear admirals and tens of thousands of elite marines. But he was locked up here, and he was being manipulated step by step by the other party, and he gradually didn't hate this kind of thing in his heart. Mamasagi is completely at a loss, she doesn't know why she is, as long as she is by this man's side and is bullied by him, she will become more obsessed. On one side are enemies, on the other side are dead colleagues and grudges. But every time I thought about it, it was their naval headquarters who took the initiative to attack, encircling and destroying the opponent's kingdom. It's just that they failed and were counter-killed, and they deserved it. Mamasagi's heart was extremely complicated, and for a while, she didn't know how to face the relationship between the two camps. How come? Silently sighed. After confirming the authenticity of the three newspapers, he began to read the newspapers in his hand. It's just that the more she looked at it, the colder her heart became. Three days have passed, and naval headquarters really revealed no news about rescuing her or redeeming her. At this moment, Mamasagi's heart was instantly chilled. It stands to reason that even naval headquarters rejected the ransom conditions proposed by the Kingdom of Agar. 
Then on the contrary, there will definitely be a hinted rescue signal, and the secret message that he will definitely mobilize the strong to rescue her is right. But what she saw now, and all the news she saw in the past three days, none of them were about her. Has naval headquarters really given up on her? Mamasugi was stunned, looking at the newspaper in his hand stupidly. 5.8. For a moment, Mamasugi couldn't help feeling a little sour in his heart. But as strong as her, she still didn't shed tears easily like ordinary women. It's just that he sighed slightly, and his face was a little ugly. At this moment, it was dusk and night fell. The time they agreed to bet on has come to an end. Now you are satisfied, it seems that I was really abandoned by the world government and Marine is an outcast. He raised his head, looked at Luke's handsome face, and said in a quiet tone. A strange look also began to flicker in her beautiful eyes. I heard Mamasugi's tone full of resentment, as if she was coquettishly complaining. Luke suddenly smiled. In my heart, I laughed like a conspiracy succeeded. How did Mamasugi know that naval headquarters had already negotiated the redemption terms with Luke? There is no redemption or rescue news from naval headquarters because naval headquarters is waiting. After they redeemed Mamasugi, they publicized to the outside world that they naval headquarters rescued people from the enemy's stronghold through all kinds of hardships. I want to save a little face with this. Because, this time, they rescued people in the base camp of the Kingdom of Agar. Unlike before, the Buster Call fleet was defeated before even reaching the sea area of the Agar Kingdom, and the shameful record of evacuation was defeated. However, Mamasugi, who doesn't know the truth, is doomed to be eaten to death by Luke as long as she is round. In this way, I fell into the trap set by Luke, and was slowly, cannibalized, by Luke. And it seems that the past three days have not been in vain for Mamasugi's round figure. Whenever she accepts O2 citrus nectar tea in exchange for a newspaper, her inner defense will be lowered. And every time he sips the citrus nectar tea, Luke silently raises his hands. Luke wouldn't stop until Mamasugi got angry from embarrassment. As a result, Mamasugi began to acquiesce to Luke's more and more excessive behavior, and kept talking about the tolerance limit in his heart. In the face of Luke's request, we will continue to lower our resistance in disguise. In the end, Mamasugi will start to silently accept Luke's request for any behavior, and will not have any objection and resistance in his heart, and will act in resistance. But now, it is almost almost successful. However, more work is needed. Completely crush her defenses. Really, then you can stay in Agar Kingdom, become my woman, and serve me well. Luke stood up, bent down, raised Mamasugi's white jaw with his fingers, and lowered his head to imprint it. I. Because of naval headquarters, betrayal. Mamasugi didn't choose to resist this time, and started to respond with the skills he learned from Luke. Ten minutes later, the two separated, and Mamasugi gave Luke a charming look. You, concentrate on doing one thing. And I really dare to think about it, let Admiral, a marine reserve, be your woman, and she will work for you. Humph. After knocking off Luke's funny hand, Mamasugi tidied up her clothes and said angrily. Seriously, why am I fascinated by this man again? Although he said that, Mamasugi's heart has become extremely flustered at this time. It's just that the fatal magic power emanating from Luke's body made her unable to control herself, and she couldn't help but want to get close to him. This feeling. Could it be her? Thinking of that possibility, Mamasugi is going crazy, why does she have that kind of thought? Fell in love with a man who defeated her and captured her back home. What Stockholm Syndrome? Mamasugi, who realizes that something is wrong, is really about to cry now. Why things have developed to this point, she really can't figure it out. What about Marine Reserve Admiral? As long as I think about it, Celestial Dragon's women, no exceptions. Reaching out and pinching Mamasugi's shy cheek at the moment, Luke's tone became extremely arrogant and domineering, and what he said shocked Mamasugi even more. However, after thinking about it carefully, the other party dared to kill Celestial Dragons, and even the arrogant attitude of not paying attention to the world government, so he was relieved. The man in front of him is definitely a restless master, the kind who can challenge the world government. But Mamasugi still frowned and said, don't underestimate the heritage accumulated by the world government over the past 800 years. The terrible power of the world government hides too much. Quote. 
As far as I know, the head of the Knights of God is stronger than me. And the Dark Horse, Chief of the Marine Criminal Investigation Bureau. Next, Mamasigi seemed to really accept Luke's existence, and began to tell him what she saw and heard during her tenure in the Holy Land Mariajoy. Luke, on the other hand, smiled and listened to the information Mamasigi provided. Ahem, after talking for so long, I'm a little thirsty. After more than ten minutes, Mamasigi finally finished speaking, feeling a little parched. Drink water. I have it. Just as he was about to reach for the water glass on the table, Luke embraced him again, and immediately printed it on it. After a while, the two groups separated. You guy, are you really that delicious? Being attacked again, Mamasigi said helplessly. Can you sing? Suddenly, Luke said something inexplicable. It should be white, right? Mamasigi also had doubts on his face, but he still tilted his head and replied a little unconfidently. Well, then come to me and sing me a song. I'll teach you how to sing. Luke said with a smile. Mamasigi blushed immediately, and came to Luke's route, very 383 unskilledly staged various tricks for Luke. A wonderful singing voice, a song of majestic snow mountain, the last part of the song, the snow mountain was covered by blizzard again. At the end of the song, Mamasigi couldn't help the sadness in his heart, shed tears of sadness, and his throat was a little choked. After a long time, I slowly calmed down. Bad guy, don't open all the locks on me. I have suffered a lot from Luke one after another, and now I sing a song for him. Looking at the locks that were still locked on her limbs, Mamasigi couldn't get angry, and said a little angrily. Simple. Luke chuckled, grabbed both sides of the lock with both hands, and broke it hard. The four sea stone locks were instantly broken one by one. This. Seeing such an inhuman scene, the leaping bunny was dumbfounded. She thought Luke meant simply by taking out the key to unlock it. Unexpectedly, what he said was simple, breaking the sea stone lock with bare hands. Oops, you are an exploding sea stone handcuff. Suddenly, Mamasugi came back to his senses and exclaimed. Explosive sea stone locks. Items produced in Wanokuni, many nobles in the original work to prevent slaves from being disobedient and escaping. Will choose to buy a lock copy. Although it is very expensive, it can make a powerful pirate, or a strong man of other forces, or a guy of a strange race obedient. It's worth spending a lot of money to buy an explosive sea stone lock copy. And now, the handcuffs that locked Mamasugi are exactly that type of lock. This is also the specific reason why Mamasugi didn't struggle to escape. This is an advanced explosive sea stone lock copy with a limited distance, as long as it is out of the specified range. Then these four explosive sea stone locks will explode within a few seconds. Because Luke's movements were so fast, almost in an instant, all four locks were torn apart. So, when Mamasugi came back to her senses, she was instantly frightened, her pupils constricted, and she stepped forward, reaching out to push Luke away. However, a scene that shocked her even more happened. A golden film of light suddenly appeared, instantly gathering the scattered sea stone locks in it. A golden light sphere shield was formed, gathering the four sea stone lock bodies inside. Next moment. Boom. Four explosions sounded in succession, and under such terrifying explosion power, the golden ball of light remained motionless. Not even a single crack. A simple application of the bandit of negation, which compresses and releases the bandit of negation into a sphere. In the original book, Aizen, who left Jingalingting calmly, used this method to get under the attention of all the captains and chief captains. Playing a big push, he finally left Seoul Society coolly, took Yin and Tusan Konami, and fled to Hueco Mundo. It's just that the difference from Luke is that Aizen let the Mainos Grande in the Black Cavity release them, and the bandits of negation who were like pillars of heaven took them away. What Luke is showing now is a more subtle operation. At the same time, another high-level use of the bandits of negation is the ability to seal other people into a different dimension. Luke used it when he helped Hurley Bell break through. It's so strong. What kind of ability is this? Is it a barrier fruit ability, or a space ability user? Dao Fang was shocked when he saw this scene, does Luke still have this kind of means? It's just a small trick. After undoing the bandits of negation, Luke said a little funny. Small means. Mamasugi's red lips twitched slightly, wanting to refute, but in the end she didn't say much. 
This man is whatever he says, anyway, she has given herself to him now. What should happen has happened, the last step at worst. Thinking about it, Mamasagi's face turned red again. Okay, let's get out of here first. Taking a look at the not-so-good environment in the prison, Luke looked at Mamasagi and said. Hearing this, Mamasagi immediately nodded in agreement. Although the environment here is not too bad, it is also very average, and Mamasagi can't stand this kind of environment. Following Luke's figure, he walked out of the prison. Huh. Why is the ground full of water? However, when Luke and Mamasagi walked out of the prison gate, Luke frowned. Glancing in confusion, he looked at the two female guards who were changing shifts and asked. Um, report to his majesty the king, this, this. The female guard who was asked was numb. Who knew that the two female guards guarding the marine vice admiral Mamasagi in front were so perverted. It turns out, now they have left a mess for the two of them, and there is no way to explain it. Forget it, there will be no need for guards here from now on, you can do other things. As if remembering something, Luke shook his head and casually dismissed the two of them. Yes, your majesty the king. The two female guards looked at Mamasagi who had a somewhat ruddy complexion, showing doubts. Isn't this beautiful woman a captive marine vice admiral, now closed? The prison has the means of shizun laid by Luke, and the outside can't hear the slightest sound inside. Naturally, they didn't know what happened, but they didn't dare to talk too much, and quickly saluted respectfully. Then he left. Later, Luke also took Mamasagi out of the dungeon. Back in the palace bedroom, called the palace maid, and took Mamasagi to clean all aspects. He he he. As expected of Luke Kuhn, he has completely subdued that woman, it's really amazing. As Mamasagi and the maids left, a beautiful figure came out from the dark corner of the bedroom. That melodious voice full of charm is obviously Tokusaki Kurumi himself. Are you jealous? Why are you talking so strangely? Luke hugged Kwong San into his arms with some amusement, and smacked on the other's fair and beautiful face. Backquote, I don't have it. It's just a pity, Mr. Luke won't let me do it, huh? Luke's simple words seemed to have stepped on Kurumi's cat's tail. Kwong San was immediately furious, and retorted a little furiously. His face was full of arrogance. Yes yes yes. Facing Tokusaki Kurumi's extremely cute appearance, Luke naturally followed her temper. It didn't mean to expose her. Today is a white wedding dress, he he he. After a moment of silence, Kurumi suddenly broke away from Luke's arms, and then turned around in a circle. Immediately afterwards, the gothic spiritual attire disappeared, and the original attire was restored. I saw Tokusaki Kurumi in a white wedding dress, holding a bouquet of flowers in his hand. Delicate and cute, with a hint of inexplicable brilliance, and an incomparably holy appearance, appeared in Luke's sight. Quote dot 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 opening parenthesis. Nuo Jiao's. Kuang San exuded an inexplicable brilliance in front of him, which immediately made Luke dumbfounded. Isn't this the same wedding dress worn by Kuang San on Shishi Festival in the original book? Luke doesn't even know where Kurumi found these costumes. Always give him some unexpected surprises. What? Mr. Luke doesn't like the way I look in my wedding dress. Seeing that Luke was like an idiot, Kwong San came to him, laughing with a charming and charming tone. Hearing this, Luke didn't answer. Instead, he directly used practical actions to answer Kwong San's question. Then, there was nothing to say all night, and the stormy weather continued until late at night. Kwong San also closed his eyes contentedly, and had a sweet dream. Thanks for watching, please subscribe and support our channel.